All right, all right, folks. We're doing it. Exciting times. We're going to play some more Icarus. What's up, everybody? I got G-Con with me. Hello, G-Con. Evening, folks. And uh, very exciting to see all you guys uh, already in here waiting for me to start. Appreciate that. I appreciate the likes before I even started. Hopefully, I will earn those as we go along. Um, today, if you've been following my last few Icarus streams, uh, they did an update where they introduced the thing they were calling free build, which is the ability to toggle off of the snap points. Uh, however, we did some testing and we found some limitations to that, that uh, you can toggle off the snap points, but every piece needs to be supported on its own individual grid. So basically what it allows you to do um, is to have more creative placement of foundations and you're also able to move them vertically up and down so you can get them to fit uh, each other and the terrain a bit better than you used to be. So with those parameters, we played around a bit in the previous streams and I came up with uh, a build that I wanted to do uh, based on that. It's basically going to be an octagon and uh, three on a side eight sides and we figured out how to fit it together enough that it's going to be a sealed thing of course the pieces aren't really designed to work with uh, all these various angles and stuff but we're going to do our best with it and we're going to create the the floating octosphere <laughs> i'm going to call it uh it's going to be all made out of the new reinforced glass which was an, also another new addition with this update is you can actually have glass that is exposed to the weather and so with those two new features, uh, yeah, going to try to do a build based on them today. And so we did some prep in between streams. Uh, we did a prototype of just the angles, at least, uh, in the last stream. And so, yeah, today we're going to move on with that. Uh, let me go ahead and get in here. And by the way, thank you for joining. Everybody who's come to hang out, whether you're hanging out now or you're hanging out later, uh, definitely appreciate the company. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to take Monkey Puzzle and take him on in to my outpost. Uh, the Daylight Olympus. That's the only one I got. Puzzle Topia. One outpost, one map. And we're going to host it. So scary how delete is right below host. I don't like that. And uh, this doesn't matter. The confirm loadout is an illusion because I didn't go back to my pod. I just reset. Uh, I just uh, went back to characters to select. So Steam friends only. Leave that open. So folks from the Discord can come in. And I'll show you what we did real quick, and then we'll we'll do some work. As soon as it lets me in here. So the performance was kind of hanging in there. We'll see. Hopefully it'll keep hanging in there. I was getting around 50 to 60, sometimes a little bit above 60 frames. Ideally, I'd want it to stay locked at 60 or at least be above 60. But um, we'll see how it goes. Right now it says 73. It's still loading in textures and stuff like that. Get my keyboard over here. How y'all doing? What's everybody up to? Uh, so I'm up here at a cave. I was doing a little work getting some mats. Because uh, we are going to need a lot of mats. Oh, yeah. The cave worms have come back and I was not prepared. Okay, this <laughs> take two. When I logged out, I had already killed them all. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of gathering, mining. Well, we, yeah, it's situated. Try to add a few more materials. What we have. Guys. Luckily, the, still, the cave worms are kind of slow on the draw. Oh, there's another one. Not that one. That one was stealth. I thought there was only two right here, but apparently... Either there was three, or I just didn't kill one completely. So we're going to tick a little damage. Uh, let's eat some food. 
And yeah, I already got a bunch of stuff stashed here. This crafting bench is full of iron and copper. Uh, some of this I did, some of this G-Con did. Um, I've got a little bit of uh, platinum here, a little bit of titanium in the other one. And then I'm smelting some more things here as we go. It's a lot lighter to uh, take uh, the ingots back than it is to take um, the uh, raw ore. But we're not very far from base, so it's no big deal either way. I'm going to skip aluminum for now. So far, I don't plan to make big use of aluminum in this build. Uh, I do, what I do need is a lot of iron. Both for the glass and to make steel for the uh, concrete. This is going to be a glass concrete build. Um, copper, I think I'm going to skip for now, too. I need a ramp. Although, since we can respawn uh, the mats, I don't need to grab every single one. Because we can get more. Let's test the chat here, because... Uh, not that I need you all to say anything, but I just want to make sure that the... Uh, chat is working let's say hello yeah seems to be working oh just quiet today it's fine lurking is love i really need the uh well i don't because we have all the titanium we ever need really but i would like to do the mission that uh Gives me ability to make the things from the cave run parts. Be useful. It's nice how it encapsulates your arrow in the little pod of death. Cave run death. You just jump in, Jika. Oh yeah, I feel it. Yes. Ooh. Not usually a good sign when you get like if you're in geometry. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where the hell I am. Oh right, yeah. Where is he at? There he is. Hey now. You know, we could be friends, Cave Worm. I don't have to kill you if you weren't so aggressive. That's your anger issues. Yeah, so I got a uh, titanium pickaxe, which I am just loving. Takes out a huge chunk of the ores. If you're gonna do any mining, more mining, I suggest you make one too, Jacon, if you haven't already. On an outpost, yeah. forget this, forget this platinum business, man. That's second rate. still gonna need more silica uh, I'm sure we're gonna need more steel and uh, ingots iron ingots 
here. Yeah, we don't need any wood. We don't need any wood. You're good, pretty good wood and stone. <laughs> wood and stone, we're good. Uh, we're still going to be light on silicon, silica, and uh, um, I've been stocking up on tree sap. But yeah, we're going to need to make a bunch of concrete and a bunch of glass. So all the things. So um, epoxy is going to be a limiter as well. Oh, yeah. Epoxy is... Um, if, if you're doing glass, epoxy is just yeah. awful. Mm. Right. So silica and sulfur is going to be the order of the day then. Uh, yep. Because we're not going to be able to get bones fast enough. Jay! Excited for a chill, chill building stream. That is what this is going to be. A chill building stream. How are you? You all recovered from your family affairs? That, that. So that, a little silica. And uh, let's just grab all the iron. Um, and we'll come back here. There's more ores in there, but I'm not just not going to have room to put them anywhere at the moment. So let's just take these back. Let's go back all encumbered, of course. And then we can come back here. Four more. It's also about to be night. So oh. let's... Get back by tw under the cover of twilight. There's some more silica. You don't know. You feel like you're still recharging your social battery. That was a lot. Well, you're. You seem to be alive anyway. That's a good first start. Watermelon. We have some crops back there, so we don't need to uh, harvest those right now. We wouldn't have any place to put them anyway. Uh, silica we're going to have to come back for. Yeah, so we're just above the base. You took a nap? Naps are nice. I like mm. naps. Power naps. Power Absolutely. naps. Nappuccinos. Speaking of which, um, uh, it's after three in the morning for me. So um, if I if I nod off and start drooling in my keyboard, <laughs> you'll know why. <laughs> I will properly mute you. <laughs> I need a way to zap you from afar as to tell you to go to bed. Yeah. But yeah, don't overexert yourself, man. Uh, we don't need to overachieve today. We already did a bunch of prep work, which I'm going to show you guys. Did some logistical setup for this build. So, on your left, you, we have the uh, demo builds we were working on before. We were practicing on how... And how to work with some of these weird angles. Bad doggy. Give me that yelp. You started this. Naughty. I don't have room to skin them. Let's get my arrows back. Still in the 90s with my uh, 100 stack of space station arrows. So yeah, this was a hexagon. And so that was the angle for that. I took most of it apart because I was cannibalizing the frames. I did still leave the angle because I still wanted to work on figuring out how to close that up in a graceful way if we ever wanted to use that angle. Your friend that started playing Icarus made the mistake of making a hole into a cave too big. So the polar bear came in and snacked on him. Polar bear snacks. Uh, this yeah, is, that's the thing. Huh? That's the thing. <laughs> 
beer yep. full of your empty caves. <laughs> yep. So this is the first thing I built with the new system. This was totally freeform. Uh, well, actually, I was using a indicator on the uh, foundations themselves, on the frames themselves. And I'm trying to fit them together in the angle to make kind of a circle, and it actually worked out okay. Uh, this turned out to be a 12-sided thing. Um, the roof was a bit messy. <laughs> that is lacking support because uh, I had to shove a whole bunch of frames in the middle here. I covered them with some ceiling, so they didn't look so bad now. But, uh, yeah, uh, I like it. Um, it is a little unsupported. It's a little cracked, but it's cool. Nice little round hut. And uh, didn't finish it off with the uh, decoration and stuff because... Again, these are just prototypes. I think that little round hut's going to stay. And then this is, is the octagon. I uh, did a rough foundation thing on that, trying to figure out how to line things up and how the roof could go and how it can get supported. Uh, so we're going to build uh, this angle right here uh, with glass and concrete. This inside overlapping roofs is a little awkward, um, but there's really no way around that. At least it's sealed. And it looks better in the glass than it did in the in the stone frames. It looks a lot better from the outside. It actually looks relatively smooth. Uh, someone who was watching last time said it looks like a Denny's. <laughs> I tried to take that in the best possible way. Um, but yeah, we got a little tiny bridge there. And then this is a support structure for building this thing. I'll show you what I mean. In a second, but uh, I take my overloaded self over this temporary bridge here. Well, the bridge will be here, but I'll probably build it better. I just threw down a bunch of frames to get across the water, and I was aligning with a draft of the octagon here, which we I did most of. I was trying to be pretty careful because this part's pretty tedious, kind of fussy, finicky kind of thing. So I did the bulk of it off camera so I wouldn't bore you with that too long but I left the last little bit so I can show you how I'm doing it hey Wook it looks cool inside actually very artsy awesome yeah that's the little artist in residence bungalow if you uh yeah you make arrangements to stay here and you get the hut um, I'm gonna get the giant uh, high-tech domey thing um G-Con cleared the whole island because uh, we weren't sure where we we're gonna build it and then he put down uh, pillars everywhere, like uh, like they do passive aggressively in Ark <laughs> to keep your other tribes from building. Uh, he put pillars everywhere to keep things from respawning, but we're learning that that is not 100% effective. All the bushes came back, and most of the saplings came back, and maybe three of the trees came back. Um, so you can't totally kill spawns. Um, and then the rocks, the stones, have a mind of their own, man. Um, there's one that came back right here and then there's two <laughs> that keep coming back inside of here i had uh these these cabinets going all the way to the corner and this thing just pops back and uh covers them all up uh which is not good so i managed to just chew a little off of this so i could get to this one and that pretty much stays i tried to take most of it down just leave a little bit and see if it didn't come back and it does come back so I think the rule is that the rock respawns if a certain majority percentage of it is gone. Maybe. Chikon's been doing some more testing on that, too. Um, talk more about that in a minute. This one was my previous pet rock that I had a little tunnel in that I actually let go of. Um, but pet rock came back. <laughs> so this building is just going to have two stones. I'm just going to build around them rather than have them respawn around things I've placed. Um, but that's something they definitely need to work out how things, uh, resources respawn in um, in the uh, outposts. I'm glad things mostly do respawn, but there is shouldn't respawn in your buildings. There should be a radius for that. Anyway, this building, it's uh, concrete and glass, but it's meant to just be a building to logistically support the building that's going to happen out here that we're going to start today. Um, so this is a place to manufacture pieces right next to it. We can make our concrete here and our glass here. 
we need the generator in order to pump water into this because that's how you make the reinforced glass. We can also set up a pump to uh, pump water into the cement mixer, which will make it work faster. And then we can put down workstations as we need them to support the build and then uh, more uh, cupboards if we need them. Right now, that's building pieces, and then we got a whole lot of stone and a whole lot of wood <laughs> and some fiber. So the stone and the wood is from the clearing of the island. Um, in here, we got some silica, and then uh, here is for glass. We'll put some of this iron in here right now. Um, and then I'll put the rest of the iron. If that's going to be silica, and that's tree sap, maybe I'll put iron here. And then the last bit of this I'll just take up here. This is our original fob up here to just get the foothold on the on the uh, outpost. But it uh, got pretty small pretty quickly, even though I did expand the diameter of it a little bit. Um, currently, we've been making our... Um, which we call it our uh, steel and stuff in this thing, but we can do that um, downstairs as well uh, pretty soon. Hey, Gcon, just for keeping things um, kind of organized or multiple things in that, I've been doing the tree sap over in this one. Oh, okay. Over the carpentry bench so that we can keep this one going with uh, steel bloom and epoxy, which I probably should just move downstairs, honestly. But, um... Okay. I will do that. that makes sense, since you make the sticks in the go. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm making them in my own because that's just... Because you're talented. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Them some big pet rocks, yeah. My dogs are pretty big, too. There was some wood here, but I guess I used it all up. Get the fireplace lit again. Oh, and then we should sleep. Uh, but there is plenty of wood. It's not a problem. Let's take all that upstairs. Yeah, so as the day goes today, we're going to put down stations here as we need them. And we're going to start this build. I'm going to start by... Um, oh, hi, Wolfie. My own shadow. Not helping me. That was a little weird. Um, I'm going to start by finishing the shape here. I hear another wolf. Maybe. Is it this guy? Don't be chomping on my stone. You got some mighty strong teeth there, buddy. Takes bites out of stone, man. It's not good. You got to keep those teeth your whole life. Chew on stone, you're going to have nubs by the time you're an old dog. Or even before you're an old dog at that rate. And in this case, uh, didn't get very old at all. <laughs> uh, oh, hi. Were you offering yourself? No. Chewing on stone. Hello. Bye-bye. Now we got a nice little storm. Coming up. Oh, here we put some in. Just leave this up here. Every little bit of bone we get gets uh, turned into epoxy. I got a bit more gold. Got some more titanium. I might end up doing some. Uh, Concrete rails actually use aluminum. Got some steel in there. Platinum. 
I've just been kind of storing some of those other ores in the fabricator here. Boop. Yeah, so we don't have a huge surplus of those metals, but we can keep getting them. Boop, boop, boop. Alrighty. No, I actually should go grab some of that, that iron and keep it turning into steel. Uh, we got a good amount of it in here. The rebar and such. It takes a lot. The rebar is so expensive. Um, shall we sleep, Shikon? Yeah. Pass the night, even if we can't pass the storm. A lot of people have definitely been petitioning for them to uh, make time pass while you sleep. Which would make sense, right? So yeah, limited amount of space up here. But the thing we're going to build is going to have plenty of room. And we'll put all the fanciest appliances and things in there as we go. As we can. Let's grab those. And. Excuse me. We don't really need to be yawning already. Alright, we'll grab all those. I might need some more. Funny thing is too that the um, it's intermittent, but the rain often goes through the glass. Uh, so I guess I need to get some more cock and, uh, seal them up. But they're not taking damage. Gcon did find out a warning thing though, not to do is to uh, not use the upgrade hammer to replace something else with the reinforced glass because apparently when you send it through the upgrade hammer it reverts back to regular glass so you have to yep. um, directly place it as reinforced glass indeed all right so let's get rid of this rock even though it might come back and let's finish up this frame now this I was going to say, it may not necessarily stay here. This actual frame here. It might. I'm thinking maybe it would be cool down here as a path. And then... Oh, gosh. Alright, I am cucumbered. I'm going to pick up that. i pick up that. And then let's take our cucumbered storm-exposed self. Dump off this stone. Oh no! I got the yawnies. And now I can't move. <laughs> Thanks. Icarus, I love that. I love being a disabled and not being able to move. I don't even have that much stuff on me. Right, let's drop these rocks. Put them in here. Pick them up. Ooh. Oh, you know why? It's because those foundations are so heavy. Just enough stuff for the body to be, nope, I ain't moving. Not doing it. I 
I have a coffee here. I better drink it so I can uh, not. We're going to have G-Con and me fall asleep on you. <laughs> and the stream is going to go viral because everyone's going to like, look, someone's streaming sleeping. Come see. Yeah, today I was in yeah, some more stream. I'll be all like, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it's happened. Okay, so we need to take a turn right here. So we're going to take this and go this way. What I've been doing to help with that is I've been... I have a little... I had a little uh, cross in the middle. A little X here um, that I had first lined up to meet the front door of this. I kind of wanted to meet the front door of this. Hello. And to kind of go through the center of this part of the island with the center of the build being about here, which, um, oh, hi, son. Um, kind of filled the middle of this uh, sort of round peninsula part of the island. Well, it's just not a peninsula, but it's just kind of a nub of it. Kind of goes like that. Sort of a circle. And so I thought the build should be right there. This seemed kind of it would be one of the more interesting places to be. We're on the island, but we're close to uh, this little bear area that we can continue to experiment on, play with builds and stuff like that. Um, be right next to the little bridge to get across and to the iron and stuff right there. And to our pods, which land over here or up there. And also near this thing. And then this center of it also uh, serendipitously lined up with the stairs here. Not exactly, but I was able to play with the new ability just to slightly turn it to meet up with it in a way that you don't even notice I did it. Uh, so everything all lines up, which is great. That's uh, a good new feature of the, uh, the free build. And... Um, once I did the cross, I then uh, started building off of it. Now, the octagon doesn't exactly line up with this, and that, that's fine. We're going to then adjust this, because uh, this is slightly different length because of the 45-degree uh, angle uh, things here. But that's okay. Um, so, yeah. That's what I did. So, yeah, I made the cross first, and then I've been using it in order to make the, um, the, what you may call them, the, uh, the octagon. And so, yeah, what do I do? Oh, I got to repair it. How did it get damaged? Okay, pick that up. Um, on the end of them, I take one off and then I put two more just to give me, uh, a plane to line up with. So I can tell if I'm going straight or not, right? Um, and then I'm going to come off of here. And so I need some lines to help me with that. Fine grit. Good evening. How are you? And then now we're going to come off of this grid and uh, try to uh, get this thing to line up vertically and that's just right right there and uh this let me see we're gonna go one two three so it's got to come off of this one and we see i think we want to get these two corners to line up along this line with this corner right here and the other one right over there i can't point at them unfortunately but basically the bottom left and the top right of my ghost image trying to get its vertices its corners to line up with the lines of these foundations and if i get it right that'll be an exact 45 pick those up there's a little room for fudge but if it gets too far off, they won't meet right at the edges. So then here, I just need to kind of decide 
if these two lines are straight enough with each other and, and they look pretty good to me they look pretty good for YouTube work uh, so I think I can live with that and now we just have to line up from here to there this one doesn't serve any purpose for us anymore so we can pick that up and then we're gonna go pick this up as well and then we just gotta get from here to there Let's give ourselves a couple more, a few more to uh, help with lining up again. And then we're going to do the same trick. Line them up in the corners. Uh, the verticalness is, seems just about right. You want to see that frame part coming up and then just like hints of the uh, flat flagstone rocks in between. And that means it's pretty much... At the same level. And we'll find out real quick if this meets up with the other the other side there, right? So let's pick these up. Boom. And moment of truth. Oh! The hard truth is it doesn't quite it doesn't quite match up. <laughs> Uh, we still may be able to fudge it. Um, I may not have got the angle right. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, do that again. Maybe we'll try it going from this side. And I'm just going to eyeball it here. And see how close I get. I could put down the, uh, ones for the lines again. Let's see how well that does. That's a bit better. Still not perfect. Yeah, so it's tough to get it just right. So this one maybe is angled out a little bit much. Let's see. I mean, it looks pretty good. Actually looks like it's angled in a little bit, if anything. I wonder if I came over a little bit more if I could close this up, I might be able to. Let's just see if we can fudge it on this side. It doesn't really matter if it's exact. It just needs to satisfy us. Right. So let's aim that uh, along that same line. See how close we can get. I tried to be real careful. Get it all exact, but you know how that goes. That's getting even better. Even better. Yeah, I'm tempted to turn this line inwards a bit, um, but I don't think that's the problem. I think maybe this one must have turned outwards a bit. Well, I still don't really see that either. I tried to be real careful. Um, technically, it should line up just right if we got it right, but there's a lot of places for it to not be exact. Um, let's try if we brought this in a bit. Oop. Maybe that would be it. Let's take that one and that. I'm afraid to commit by taking that last one out. Oh, wait, that's not the right snap. All right, Rebel. You can clear up, please. Where would that end up? Hmm... I 
I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> Let's see. Go away, Rebel. Ah! Uh, not quite. And that is turning inwards. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. Still pretty close. Alright, let's do... Yeah, in fact, let's take it up so no one sees that. <laughs> and let's try to adjust this one a bit now, too. So, let's see. Let's, um... And as long as we can get the corners to match up, it should be pretty fine. So that is there. We'll see if we can get this to line up over there. Sanchez, what's up? How are you? Oop, that's the same line. All right, we'll see in a second. Getting closer. Getting closer. I think we're going to be able to heal it up here. Uh, with another adjustment the other way. So we're just going to... Like I showed you in the beginning before, I was doing it this exactly by the lines of the pieces. But there's enough irregularity in that. It's hard to completely get it right. So let's see if this does it. Just trying to get all the corners to meet up right so that there aren't um, gaps in the corners. And I think uh, we've reached good enough, huh? That looks good. That looks good enough. That looks good. When we place the actual walls and things, we may decide it's not. But I think all those corners match up well, well enough. A foundation built on fudge. <laughs> Yes, we are fudging it quite a bit. Um, and now this cross in the center can go away. And the way we'll make these all line up just right in the center. Not that we even need this anymore. Um, but I thought they would function as sort of a path between... I don't know how they got damaged. Is we'd meet them in the middle like this. We'd. Like that. And like that. And there. And there. Oh, this one's on the wrong. That's not too bad. Let me just do that. And that. <laughs> and that. Even put one there. Put a ceiling on it. Nobody will know. Oop, wrong thing. I'll take a look at it from up here. And hey, we have... A very reasonable octagon. I think. And unless you watch this part of the episode, you'll never know. <laughs> that it's slightly imperfect, slightly fudged. You think that looks cool in the middle? <laughs> well, if we put some ceilings there, that actually won't show up so much. And th this... Uh, this right here and this right here actually lines up reasonably enough, I think. Um, okay. Wait, let's get some, uh, some 
concrete or uh, concrete parts. I think I'm going to let's move this uh, or let's make one to move downstairs so to make another concrete mixer. What do we need? We need nails, ingots, stone and wood. So there's uh, ingots. Uh, let's make a bunch of nails. And then uh, stone and wood. We put some wood in here. Oh, this, and we've got some stone back here. <laughs> Cube, <laughs> like and subscribe for more crazy geometry. What's up, man? Cube and I had some grand adventures in Star Citizen uh, two days ago. And I actually am Jones in the play again, uh, but I am waiting. Oops, wrong thing. I'm waiting till uh, they're gonna wipe any day now. So at this point, I'm waiting for them to wipe, and then I'll get some more play in. I want to make another one of these, but I need more iron. Boop boop. And we'll have a couple of these downstairs so we can make be making parts pretty quick. And then we should probably um, pump some water into them. And then uh, we'll just leave this stuff in here. If we pump some water into them, uh, they'll be faster. <laughs> Is that not why we are here? <laughs> why are you here? Uh, pumps. Pumps are... Here. And what do we need? Concrete and steel. We have those. And where did I put all that steel? Yeah, I put some here. I'm right, gonna just go ahead and take this downstairs. I'll take this downstairs. And you got any concrete? You do. So let's make how many can we make? Two. Do that. Ladybugs! What is up? How are you? Okay. So we got some pumps. And let's take those downstairs. I also want to take uh, the screws and the rebar. We'll move this down here. And this will be our concrete manufacturing concrete part manufacturing facility and then uh, this building we may or may not keep after the main one's done uh, we'll probably definitely at least take some of these stations out but this is just so logistically I'm not running back and forth as much we're trying to get this all kind of uh, centered here let's give these half of these and some of these I'll give this uh, some of those. We gotta go get the rest of that. And then the, um, uh, where were we making the rebar? We were making it in a machining bench. I think we need a machining bench down here too. What does a machining bench need? Machining bench. We just need some iron and epoxy in here. Let's steal all the epoxy. Boom. Uh, we should be keeping steel being made. And we're going to have to need to get some um, mortars and pestles down there, too. Let's just keep steel being going. And then, uh, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, the ingots. Dude, I left a bunch of ingots downstairs. We have any in here? New. No. All right, give me a couple of those back. Give me a couple back. And now we can make that craft and take that downstairs. Oh, uh, you you scold them, Cube. You tell them. Ladybugs just finished a late dinner, now relaxing. 
Very nice, very nice. And then we want to make some of these. Uh, maybe not six. Let's make three of these to take downstairs. And then we'll just move most of our manufacturing downstairs. And, you know, the last thing, actually, we should take down there, too, is we should make a couple more concrete furnaces. Um, those we make in here. And they just need some more iron. All right, let's grab some of the iron we stowed downstairs. We'll exchange it for the steel. Let's see. Let's place this. Deploy. Put steel in there. Um, I could probably count on... We're going to need more of this, so let's let's start with, like, uh, oh, gosh. Let's do 30. And we'll also make another set of 100 screws. Okay, and then we'll put some of these on top of it. So we're bound to need them. And uh, how about we put another one here? In fact, these are such nice tables for them. Let's just put them there. It's like that's what it was made for. Except uh, we'll populate with some concrete like that. So maybe we'll just put them towards the front. Boop. Boop. All right, we're, we're getting them business down here. In business. Okay. And then what else did I want? I wanted a concrete furnace, didn't I? And uh, see, this is our concrete making one. And uh, let's let's switch that. Actually, let's let's do parts here. So we'll put concrete there. Um. And then we'll do concrete making in, uh, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to how it was. Sorry. Changed my mind. Tree sap, silica, and uh, let's just grab a bunch of this silica. Throw it in there. And then we'll grab some stone and throw it in there. And, but before, we, well, we could start it going. But we'll get some water into it, and that'll speed things up, right? There's that. Uh, the epoxy goes with the glass making, but that's kind of full right now. Let's top those stacks off. And we'll keep uh, some epoxy in this one. And... I want to put the concrete in these two. Uh, this all started from me wanting some ceilings. Uh, uh, we can, we're going to need more than 18 ceilings. You go on right ahead with that. Go on right ahead with that. Let's get rid of this pillar. Grab the tool, the water pipe tool. Um... So this thing creates uh, 5,000 power, whatever they're rating it in. Uh, this, these use 1,000 each. How much... They give 1,000 water. The glass uh, bench uses a whole 1,000. Well, these only use 100. So one pump will serve all three of those. Okay, and actually I should grab... Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> I should grab the electrical tool as well. So we're going to need to give them power. All right, so let's put an additional pump in the water. Right there. And now let's keep it going the same direction as the other one. Can I spin it? Just for looks. Yeah, close enough. 
All right, we'll give it some power. Let's get both of these down here. So. And it won't go all the way. Oh, can we just share the power right here? I think maybe I have to go the other way around, don't I? Can I, um... This is my reticule. Can I go like that? Yes, I can. Cool. And is that going to work? Give them both power? Let's see. Let's try it. Activate. So you got power. You got power. Nice. You don't have water, but maybe just you need to be connected. And we're gonna take you towards towards this guy. Actually, we can just do a juncture. We can do all three, right? I think that'll work out. This one. Go there. Yeah, got got water. And this one. Go there. You got water. And this one. Go here. So that should greatly increase the speed of manufacture. We hope. Uh, why don't we clear Q and just refresh it with the water in case that makes a difference. Still taking a while. There's 20, 21, but I think it's faster. Yeah. A little automation going. All right, so now we got these. And the next thing I'm going to need is some pillars. Uh, so let's get those going. Let's go get the rest of our... Um, oh, I'm encumbered. Ooh, there's some heavy ceilings. All right, let's put those ceilings down. I was just putting these tools in here. Boop. Put the, that there for when we need it. And we were just going to cover up this messiness here. I guess we'll have them all point left. All right. <laughs> and let's see if we can make this look a little bit better in the center here. Get a neat one there. How's that? Imperfect. But it is what it is. Um, can we do that? That helps a little bit. All right, we'll call it that. Do. Yeah, I think that's as good as it's going to get. That's not too bad. Can I free place these? Uh, not if I want to keep them. I mean, yeah, I can. But if they're just free placed on top of here, they'll break. Oh, don't say that, Jay. <laughs> don't say that. Ah. Uh. On these guys, they're going to be fine. Let's see which way we're doing? When we're just pointing to the side. Yeah, 
that's fun. Hopefully it'll be easier when they're... I mean, this is just underneath. You're going to be mainly be looking up at that. Uh, this doesn't matter that much. I mean, if it really bothers us, the thing I'd have to do is redo the whole octagon again and hope I did it better. Um, this probably can go. That looks a little better, maybe. The rebel takes so long to go away. And maybe this one could go. Go away, rebel. It's funny you get rubble even though uh, you didn't actually break it. But yeah, see, then that doesn't line up. Um, I wonder if we make the half pieces. Will that help at all? Yeah, the storm's just going to get me stuck, if anything. <laughs> That's got to become concrete. Okay, let's, oh, we don't have a ramp yet. Uh, let's see, let's throw pieces in here so we don't get too heavy. I do have some stone half pieces. All right, let's go get the rest of the uh, rebar and stuff that's up here. Boop. Lots of rebar. We just got to keep the concrete production going here. Now it needs more stone. Half there. Oh, let's just put it all here. Boop. Boop. And then let's make a... Some of those, see if that helps us seal it up at, at all. Oh. Oh, you get more health? Or why does it have a little star? It's reinforced glass. What? Something about pumping water in here. <laughs> It now counts as reinforced glass. Okay. I'll believe it. Uh, yeah. And then right you. Seems fancier to have a star, no matter what it means. Is that any better? <laughs> Not really, huh? Maybe. All right, let's eat. We could also, uh, We free place the foundation in the center. That's what we could do. And these actually all need to get changed to concrete. Anyway, eventually, I'm not going to do that right now because that's a unnecessary expense at the moment. We got so much more to do.
Are you out and about, Zika? I'm <coughs> head back cucumbered, so it's just going to take me a minute. Alright, let me know when you're back so we can, uh, we can sleep. Wait. Yeah. Hey, Metal Storm. What is up? Back at you, man. Yeah, what we could probably do is take this and free place it right in the middle and clean up our lines that way maybe uh, not quite Set it down, pick it up. Twist it that way a little bit. Oop. mode maybe and it goes up and down depending on what you're pointing at maybe that's it not quite <laughs> Have I tried the reinforced glass yet? I have. Uh, there's some right next to me. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know if there's a perfect place to put this. Uh, it's not too bad. That one's kind of messed up. Deploy. That looks a little better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to uh, redo this bit. Again, this is going to be underneath everything. So it doesn't really matter. No, you do not need uh, overhangs using it. So this is the reinforced glass. It is completely exposed to the weather. And it does fine. It has no problems. You just have to make it, you just have to pump water, a whole pump's worth of water, into a uh, metalworking bench, or uh, excuse me, glass working bench, and it works fine. Hey, Jason Gregory. What is up? How are you? I think let's not look down here anymore. It's going to be fine. We've forgotten about it already. Um, go ahead and finish putting concrete on all this. And then uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to put pillars to go up. Um, if we go over here and see how we did that. Jay thinks you're a juicy burger, Jason. You must be hungry. So we needed, for this design, we needed a pillar. One more in at the corners where they converge. So let's do that. 
Yes, you can. I'm going AFK for a minute. I'm uh, in bed, so. Okay, let me go sleep. Sleep with everyone. Back in a minute. Okay. Yes, you can build the Great Pyramids out of the glass. You absolutely can. And if you stay on a square grid, it's even easier than all the malarkey I'm trying to do. Alright, so let's uh, grab some more of this, this, and more stone. Just keep this making. Let's make a bunch of um, a bunch of these. Maybe get some going over here too. Uh, three times eight, twenty-four. Just a few more, yeah. I love that everything has a little star next to it. Makes me feel so special. And then uh, let's get some of these making too. I guess we can't yet. Now we can. I gotta decide if I'm gonna use the pillars or if I'm gonna use the pillars that you can make out of frames. Heavy. Uh, I don't watch him. So I wouldn't know. Oh, I still got stone in my hot bar. Go. Still heavy. Oh, and let me grab uh, the this hammer. So I'm pretty sure these are going to have to be concrete in order to support concrete, or at least a lot of concrete. So um, let's see. Let's start uh, over here. Set the concrete, and boom. It's so framey when you do that. All right, let's just start on this corner here. So we had to come in. How was it from these two? Is it from these two? All right, we're gonna have to go look again. Where's my build on the map? I am just at where it drops you on the Olympus outpost, right down here in the corner of uh, bottom left corner of L12. I theoretically want to build up here more. But this was just really easy for folks dropping in and helping and everything. Um, I will build more over the map if the if the performance supports it. Uh, too heavy. Is that what this is called? Triangle Island. Yeah, let's drop this off. Lose some weight. And then let's come over here and look at this again.
Oop. So that one's coming from the center of this one. And that one's coming from the center of this one. And they seem closer. And they did over here. I guess that's the same. All right, uh, let's get those parts back. Get all this. We're going to be heavy for a minute. Let's take half of those. Poop. And let's see. Maybe we'll just cover over our food and we'll just eat the food out of the inventory. I'm not have it on a hot bar. So, yeah, we got this side. I don't know if it matters which way these place, if you have one, let's see, if you have one in one direction, that's not what you the place. If you have, that's that one, that one's pointing to the side, and that one will point forward, and they still line up, so I don't think it matters. So we could either do it that way, or can we do it where we switch these to these and make them nice and chunky? Oh no, those only go in the middles. Ooh, right. Okay, see, I haven't used those much. So we do have to use the regular columns. Let's take them all the way to the ground just to make sure they're fully supportive. I am, for the most part, Metal Storm. The he asked if I'm enjoying the uh, new building options so far. I think um, they're a little bit more limited than I would like. But hopefully, they'll expand on them as they go. They couldn't do quite as much as I wanted. Let's just put all the stuff in here, too. For nows. So, yeah, we need some more of those. Eventually, we'll need... A lot. <laughs> uh, let's go for... 24 to start with. Now, theoretically, once they're on the ground, uh, no, we don't necessarily need the frames to come out like that. All right, this could go. We just need that for the placement. Um, but yeah, every. One of these corners we're going to need to do this. You're glad they're listening to the community? Yeah, they are. Uh, which is smart. Although, it's a mixed bag. Um, it is good they're listening because... Uh, they were definitely... Oh, and I should have left that. Put the one on the other side. Facing some issues with uh, community support, right? You know, a lot of people... A lot of people wanted things that they weren't giving. But a lot of that also was coming from folks who weren't really respecting what the game is intending to be. Like, a lot of people didn't really like the whole session-based thing. Even though that's the main premise of the game. Like, a lot of people didn't even read it in the description that that was going to happen. And then were mad when they found it out. 
you know. It's like playing a rogue a roguelike and then getting mad that it's a roguelike. Cause you didn't read that it was a roguelike. But it differs from people's expectations of survival games. So, yes, I do want them to listen to the community. Uh, but at the same time, I do want them to stay true to some of the more hardcore things they wanted to do. Right? So I want them to listen, but I don't want them to necessarily cave on some of the things that made it more difficult, more challenging. You know what I mean? Yeah, half the people play and don't even know the lore of Icarus, right. And they don't understand, like... Why are you in the forest and you gotta wear a spacesuit? Which I think they have adequately explained. But... Um... Oh god. All right, <laughs> we're going to need to fix that. All the rest of them turn out okay. This is the problem with this is uh, since these are not exactly aligned, the pillars are doing different things. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's not quite fine. That's okay. But that is different. So we're going to have to redo that. We're going to have to fix that. Uh, so we'll work on... We have to realign. That's fine. Boop, boop, boop. Let's do another 24 of these. Is the game worth buying? Well, if it wasn't worth buying, I wouldn't be playing it. Let's put it that way. I definitely don't stream games that aren't worth buying. Now, whether it's the game you want to play, I can't say. You might not like it at all. Um, I actually bought it twice. I bought it uh, on another Steam account so that I could um, uh, log in from my other computer sometimes when I needed to. Yeah, the fire lag is, is pretty bad. There's definitely a lot of optimizing they need to do in general. But, you know, I'm also... I'm someone who's used to playing broken games. <laughs> so... <laughs> my expectations may not necessarily be what they should be. like um, an advanced option so that you can actually turn uh, the fire off or, or at least fire caused by lightning right because that is annoying when it you know you get a performance hit because there's fire propagating into the forest well so I like the nice fire cover. I think the fire is super cool it just doesn't behave it, itself very well it, yeah but especially at the moment, whilst uh, like in outposts where uh, it, it burns trees to charcoal, but next time you log in, the burnt trees are still there, but also the tree has respawned, so you end up with multiple trees inside a burnt one. Oh. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Sure. So, that's something we need to fix. All right, so we got to, unfortunately, I tried to do this before we got here, but, uh, yeah, it didn't <laughs> work out that great. But uh, a thought, I'm having a thought that um, if uh, I do the octagon with these cement pieces, I might be able to be more precise, actually, because they have cleaner lines than the stone does. Um, so maybe we'll do better. 
checking out these two are okay because I'd like to keep that one and that one so let's let's keep those I gotta put these away for a second and then we'll pick up the rest and we'll redo it because then those two are important because they create the connections to the paths so we'll we'll start from here and we'll redo and hopefully we'll do better do better wow is the game worth playing metal is worth buying metal storm <laughs> Dang, dude. You must know more than anybody about it. <laughs> I mean, I asked that facetiously because if you have uh, seven, 1,720 hours in, uh, you I would assume you think so. I would hope so. All right, that one's messed up. We're going to take that one down. Heavy and I know it. So much for getting this done ahead of time. But it was too off. And the funny thing is that this. Who's attacking? Hey! Jerk! Uh, and this shape is actually one of the easier shapes to make. Because um, this whole uh, system... Basically, you know, it allows you to freeform. And to freeform and do it exactly is pretty tricky. Let's turn these to concrete. Pick that one up. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, Jason. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely got stuff that's broken. Drop some rebar. Oh, God. All right, we're dropping rebar all over the place. <laughs> Big bundles of it. Oh, God. Uh, sorry, that might be my fault. I, I queued a bunch up thinking you'd be hit. Well, I, I had... Uh, I think I'd queued some up, too. But uh, we're good. <laughs> Excellent. I'm sure it won't be too much before we're done. Yeah, as long as it doesn't despawn, I don't care. It looks funny. Stuck on a geometry screen. Uh oh. Encouraging. Did you you logged out? No, I was just I'm just running back. Like geometry. Every new game does, but there's a lot of people who argue that new games should not. It is. It's, I mean, every game is so ambitious nowadays, but um, 
I also think because uh, they should have called it early access. He was trying to do something different than early access, and I respect what they were trying to do. But I think it just confused people. Rather than being open access, what they did is they had a, a long beta so that people could try it in the beta. You had to buy it to do the beta, but the whole period of the beta would span a few months. You could return it any time during then. So you had lots of time to play it and still be able to return it. Whereas in an in a, in a early access, you still only get two hours to try it, right? Oh, oh, what? move there. Okay, what? the game's back, but I'm dead, and I see a wolf walking away. <laughs> so I obviously got attacked whilst it was building the geometry. No fair, Wolfie. Damn it. <laughs> you know Wolfies always play fair. No such thing as perfect. Yeah, you talking about my placement? <laughs> or about the game? Uh, let's see, where is the fiber? And, uh, let's see, we can carry a few less of these. Um, actually, I don't think I need the floors at the moment. Put those back at the moment. The game. Yeah, no, game doesn't have to be perfect, but it is definitely early access, right? But it's not called early access. And some people are kind of salty about that. They think it's not honest. But they, again, they weren't really listening because uh, they did explain why they're doing it the way they did and had pretty, pretty good intentions around doing it the way they did, but. Um, Again, if you weren't listening, oops, you could call it disingenuous. Got rid of the bleeding. Yeah, so let's see what it's like to place it with the concrete pieces, if we can do this any better. Oh, that was the one piece that put me over. I'm just happy to have a survival building game that I can um, that I can play while I wait for other survival building games to come. I like my survival building games. True enough. It's hard to tell them that. Use these. So we're gonna we're gonna use these to get to the other side. Make these bits that are gonna help us with the placement over there. Are those on? No, this one's not on the right one. I thought they ended up too perfect right there. one needs to be there. There we go. Okay, so let's make our right angle or our not right angle, a uh, 45 degree angle. So we want to turn here and let me figure out where my yeah, there and there. Top left, bottom right. Go into this mode. We gotta lower it some. Hopefully that's about right. Yeah, and that's much more precise points than with the stone. So kind of hard to see. Oh, it's a little too high. 
That wasn't exactly precise right there. One of the things I've asked for is the ability to be have finer tuning with the up and down placement of the pieces. Because it's not fine enough. Let's see if this is good enough. Vertical height is important as well. Oop. Right there. Huh? My screen froze. Oh, crash. What I'm doing is I'm making it so I can look at the ground instead of at a building piece because the heights vary whether your reticle is on the ground or looking at a building piece. So if the height you're looking at doesn't quite work for you, uh, if you can make it so you're looking at the ground rather than a building piece, can be the adjustment you need, um, but I'm having a hard time getting it just right. I got so I satisfied with the um, uh, the placement, but not the height. It's got to be pretty close. Yeah, again, I feel like this, play, I'm a little off here by like an inch, but I got to get that, that vertical height right. So let's go back to this. Like that. Preserving my placement for a minute. We gotta get off of that. Yeah. yeah, I can see better when I'm in this mode. I can feel Gcon joining. Just right. Oh, yeah. That's pretty dang close. All right, so we're going to call it that. Pick that up. Pick that up. And then we put three more of those down. Boom. Boom. And then we got to make the turn again, right? Um, so, let's see. We're going to want to go like this. So, let's see, we need another one up here. Okay, yeah. 
yeah, that's much better. Uh, I had a browser running in the background, which I think must have been consuming a lot of memory. Uh, this is, you had this what is in the background? Um, a, a browser, just a web browser running. Uh, so I quit that and it's now, it's a lot smoother and seems more stable, so. Cool. Obviously I was running out of memory. Do you have like 17 tabs open? Uh, I actually had, uh, I had YouTube open because I had your stream up. Uh -huh. Yeah, Icarus is still a demanding game. It's a little bit lower. It's pretty darn close, but speaking of perfectionists, just trying to get it right this time. I was experimenting with crouching there. It seems to help a little bit. There's a certain amount of up and down you can get just by moving it around, too. And like I said, I tried to get most of this f fussy, fidgety bit uh, done off stream. I thought I was right on target, but apparently I wasn't. Oh, yeah. I think that's sexy. Let's find out. Uh, if we put that on, that on. Uh, that corner looks pretty good. It looks pretty well lined up with this line. Um, let's keep going. We can steal some of these back. Boom. Boom. I still need to get some more, so let's grab some more from in here. Once we get it lined up right, uh, we're golden. Let's need some more of those. Let's get some making. Let's make like, I don't know, seven. And then, um, Let's keep concrete making. What do we need now? Stone? We don't get a little star on our concrete. What's up with that? Down there. I'll just put the stone in here for now. So I have to keep going back and forth. Putting animal parts in here. My lantern ran out, but uh, good for a minute. Um, all right, let's grab those. I think we can make. I don't want to over make because I want to conserve resources, but I think we're good still to make some more. Now it's natural, these in the middle are never going to line up quite right, because that's just the nature of making the octagon. Um, pick those up now. So we're done with that bit, and we're going to bring it from this back from this side. It lines up pretty reasonably well with the other side. So those two sides match pretty decently. Okay, so now we need to turn the corner over here. I got a little stone in my inventory. Oop. Find that sweet spot. That is a nice height. These stay at that height. Oh, 
But yeah, I think even if you're not going to build in concrete, if you're doing this method, I would still lay it out with concrete because the lines are so much sharper than with the stone. You can really tune it a lot better. I mean, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm lining up uh, this corner here and this corner here, right? That one has to go right there at that edge. And then this one just has to be on this line. And that if you get that close enough, hopefully you're at a 45 degree angle. Um, is what you're going for. Uh, for an octagon. Alright, now we got to turn again. We need our ones placed for our line making. And then we want this to be parallel to those other three over there. I have a feeling we're going to be a lot better than the last attempt. Feeling good about this. Yeah, so what this update allowed is not only the free placement, but also the up and down placement. All right, that's looking pretty parallel. Now this is the test, is whether it lines up uh, when we come around here, how closely we're going to hit that corner when we uh, place this one. Right, come back up here. Let's try it. Let's get that corner. And that one on that line. Okay, let's pull this up so it's not blocking. Uh, give me that height back. Yeah. Right about... It's watching the little ghost image disappear. Reappear right in that corner. I'm going to say it's that. That looks pretty sweet to me. Okay, we're going to find out. Here's the moment of truth. Boom. Oh! Oh, <laughs> not quite. Ugh. All right. That means that this line is turned out that way a little bit, right? Just a little bit. So let's put it right on top of this one. We'll turn it in just slightly. Correct it. Oh, but that's too low. Yeah. Let's see. Now these freeform corrections see how they turn out. And it doesn't have to be 100% correct. It's just got to be like 99% correct. Where you don't see any gross deviation. See how that does. It's just a slight correction. I want to make sure we're on the right one. I want to take off the one on this side, right? Get that one. Let's see if I even made a change. Now you can see there, that one's in a little bit. I don't know if it's enough. All right, 
right, let's try this again. So I found if I place it, my reticule, on the little raised bits, the raised part of the frame, that the height looks pretty good. That's closer. But it's not perfect. Um, we're at like the 95%, not the uh, 99. Probably means that this one just turned out slightly. Which I don't know. If that's worth correcting. Problem is, if we put two walls here, there's going to be an obvious gap between them. Um, yeah, these blocks are definitely way better to construct with. You can see your lines better. I mean, for what we were doing, having to do this eight times, to be off that much in eight times is not bad. Um, but I do want to get it a little closer. So, I could just split the difference in this one and, like, have it between the two. Um, if I really wanted to correct it, I got to go all the way back to here, actually. And do that. Let's... Let's just let's just bust through that real quick. So we're gonna. Kate Moss had an obvious gap. Worked out for her. <laughs> we'll call this the Kate Moss octagon sphere. And there's different kinds of gaps, and some are nicer than others. I don't mind Kate Mosses. <laughs> yeah, no, a few people do. Perfectly fine with that. All right, so that's just turning in slightly, right? Let's take out that one. Let's see what that does. Sorry, guys. Just, now that we're trying to get it right, we're going to get it right. And uh, this is going to be a two parter, obviously. But once we get this right, we'll be, it's going to be kind of colored by numbers after that. Um, are you in a position to sleep? You I am. Okay. Let's uh, get this up here, get that in there. Max. Two. Run out of my lantern. Thank you. Easy. Totally lost my sense of direction there. We'll come back for that lamp. This one down below. <laughs> That's a lovely joke. <laughs> This one's got to go. It's based on the previous. This corner is still good. This can go. We were just trying to keep things from respawning with all those. So we go one, two. And give ourselves some. To place with. Oh, 
Hopefully that's good. One, two. Let me up. Alright, give us some to place with. The reticule on the little lip. I'm erring on the direction we needed to go for, to correct. Slightly inward. Hopefully I'm not overcorrecting. How's this line look now? It's hard to tell because of the foreshortening. Looks pretty darn close. If anything, it's going inward a little closer on this side, maybe? I don't know. Let's see how it works out here now. It should be a little closer, right? But yeah, we've we've tried a couple ways to do this. We've tried line of sight, and then we've tried using marks on the foundations themselves for the alignment, right? That's how we did the round hut, and that's how we're doing this. So you gotta have some kind of guide. Ooh, we got, we got closer that time, but still not quite there. I'm going to start working backwards and splitting the difference, I think. And the trick is... How to get my reticule on a spot where it would be exactly the same height. Which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do. Give me this. Hmm. Well, I can do it from here. Trying to push it forward a little bit, but I gotta keep my reticule on that line. That's almost exactly the same, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that didn't correct much. So close. So close. I don't want to move this one. This one's kind of sacred because it lines up with this one. Um, I mean, I could probably seal that with a pillar. But then the, I'll need pillars. Yeah, I just, I really want to get that last bit to line up. Well, what does the, uh, the pillar look like when we place it now? Let's grab one of those. Gcon posted some pictures of uh, a really nice roundhouse he made. What could progress? And it looks like you had to do a lot of finicky placement to get that, huh? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is really worth doing so. This is, there's a couple of bits where I'd spent about 
I about three or four hours placing down um, wooden columns um, and, and trying to get the angles just just right. And then I got to the point where I was just, you know, I was just so fed up. I was like, okay, I got it what I thought was close enough. But of course the problem is the further you build, once you've kind of built your, because I, I built like a kind of a, a wheel shape out of um, the, the wooden pillars, but once you start building out of that, that of course then any errors get um, amplified, hugely. Mm -hmm. um, so it does have down one side it does have there's there's a there's a crack that is uncomfortably large and can't be covered um, so it's worth spending the time getting it right right <laughs> even if it's a little bit tedious it's definitely worth it my attempt was to do the tedious part off camera <laughs> but yeah. i left the last bit Um, just to be able to show people how I did it, but I should have finished and then picked up the last bit and redid it. Yeah, see, there's going to be this much of a gap if we leave this. And if we put a pillar in there, I don't know if that's going to be convincing. And then if we'd have to do it on all of them, I mean, we could just do that on that one. It'll be a little asymmetrical. Because the other ones won't have it. I mean, we could do it on all of them, I guess, but... Uh, no, I was thinking today what would make this so much easier. Uh, is if you, you know you, uh, that thing where, where you put down a, a bench uh, and it gives you an option to rotate it? If they yeah. could do that so that maybe you hold down like a special key modifier or something or switch into a, a mode so that when you place a block it allows you to rotate it to a precise angle. That would be fantastic. Hmm. And also kind of nudge it around a bit? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Should we just heal that one bit like that? I think... We might be able to get away with that. And then all the rest won't have that. <laughs> Because I can't see trying to do this again. I'm not sure exactly where the error is. And if I keep trying to correct coming in, I'm going to create another error somewhere else. Sounds a lot like advanced building mod on Valheim. Rotate after snap placement. Yeah, is that what that does? But the pillars look close enough, I think. That we can call this good enough. It gives a character, right? To be a little bit imperfect. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it character. Rustic. Yeah, rustic out of glass and concrete. But this lines up. And this lines up. That's not so bad. And it's not as bad as it was before where there was two of the c pillars that were like touching. It's just, just slightly further apart. We just got like a difference of like an inch. Um. If I was able to split the difference here, we'd just have we'd have a gap here and a gap there. 
Um, all right. It's okay. All right, what do I need? I need... Do I need another one of these? I don't think I do. I think I just keep using this one uh, for placement. And then let's see how well this one goes. Six, actually. Yeah, let's see, that's just a little close there. wonder, can I... Let's try... I wonder if we can fix it there. Give me... Give me, give me... Another couple of these. Boop. Boop. Oh, I have some. Stop. place thank you oh I don't want it there I want you in there but I want you higher which I won't get huh um, yeah I need a line there maybe if I just put that there so I have my line in the right place then free place again right here we want to take it like an, an inch to the left how is that height like a little low huh that right there. I have to be like right here and a little over that way. How is that? If we use that one. see any difference really That's so scary <laughs> destruction yeah yeah food I don't have time for food I'm building Hello, large deer. Right, let's try again. Boop. 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 Hello, Sir Garwin. Well, not competition, but uh, I got standards. Standards. Where do I need that line to be? I need it to be. We're going to turn it. Oh. Well, come in, Sir Garwin. like there we want to take it out just a little extra 
Just a little. Something like that. Closer. That's closer. Purposely making a small gap here. Height's not quite right. That's even closer. Alright, what do I need to do? I need to bring it to the left a little bit. Just a wee bit. Well, Scottish there is that my influence? What's that? You got a lot of Scottish there. Is oh, that my influence? With the wee bit. <laughs> That's right. Just a wee bit. Just a tad. Now, see, that's not the right height, though. That's darn it. That's you. Lower a little bit, please. Is that the right height? That's closer. That's way too high. That might be... Okay. It's a little low. So we want to go... Forward. I can't see my edges, though. forward but a little bit more to the left this time how would that be Erg. let's try it from this side I'm just trying to split the difference right now guys that's what I'm doing I'm not fixing the mistake, I'm just making it the same on both sides. <laughs> That's all. I had it all lined up before where it was continually being at the right height, but now it's not. It's harder to do it from this side because you can't, your body blocks the left bit. Um, that's way too off. Oh god. Who knew? 
And that's way too high. I should have left it alone. <laughs> I should have left it alone. Let's do it looking this way, maybe. Like that. There we go. Oh. Same issue. I'm in my own way. I want it to go there and go there. That's about the right height. We start to work up the side here, like that's perfect height, but not the perfect placement. What does that do? That's actually a little too high still. All right. Okay, ladybugs. Thanks for sticking with me this long. I was just gonna have this part just done and we were gonna breeze past it and go on to the, the funner part, but um, I will definitely uh, appreciate having this part done right. But yeah, have a good night. I'll see you next time. Hopefully this is going to be the one. Oh, I see why I'm getting it wrong. Boop, 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 boop. This one looks like a little bit off and a little bit more off, but I think that's a bit more balanced than it was. What do the pillars look like now when we place them? Oh wait, these ones were are where they were before, so those up. Place them. Give me those, please. Where are they? There we go. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's better. We just slid it this way a little bit. And uh, when we place these. There'll be a teeny gap there. And... There'll be a little less of a gap here. Small one. And we'll just use these pillars kind of fill that in a little bit. Those are the glass pillars. And nobody will know, right? Okay. <laughs> Let's move on then. What do you say? I'll call that a deal. I just, these two pillars look close enough. Gaps are all the rage. <laughs> we were just talking about gaps. What's up, Gendar? That's the thing if you're going to work off the grid. Got to be prepared to fudge it a little bit.
All right, now we get back into the action. Yeah, Icarus just added the free building mode, which is what I'm trying to play with, basically. Um, so that's what I was doing before. See, that's the snap. And then if I press, uh, by default, it's the end key. I have actually switched it to my V key, so it's easier. I can take it off of the grid. And I can go up and down. The up and down placement is not quite fine enough yet, though. So that's why I, I could line them up, but it was tricky. I had to be really careful where I point. I think they should make that go with the mouse wheel. Or, or at least give it finer gradients. But yeah, this be ability to do this is brand new. However, it's unlike Valheim in that you cannot just place on something else and expect it to be supported. Which is sad. So I just lost that piece. Um... So that part is sad. But they're not done yet. They just added that in the last update and they wanted to know what we thought about it. And I I left in the forums, I left comments that uh, about both of those things, that they should allow it to be supported by other pieces and that... Um, this one's not starred. Um, and that they should uh, give you finer control about the vertical. What's up, Rodna? How are you? Welcome in. Okay, so that's all the pillars placed. We're going to need for the support, I think. Always add more later if we need. No. Uh, Put some ceilings on the matter. We gotta figure out how we're gonna close up the center here. So it looks all right. It's kind of cool like that, honestly. I, before I was trying to do this, um, um, that's not too bad. Fortunately, we can't free place a little square in the middle. I think I'll just leave it like that. Because it will break. It won't be supported. Yeah, that's alright. You like the little geometric pit? Awesome. Yeah, it was uh, partly you going, ooh, the lines, before that I had to change it, right? <laughs> yeah, we can live with that. That's much better. Let's get all these on. I if I have to place the walls after the ceilings. I think I might. I will never get used to that sound. It sounds like I'm just taking a hammer to everything. And the fact that you fixed the glass with the hammer notwithstanding. What are you doing? We need some more ceilings. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. That one actually goes up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Central support in the middle square. You could, uh, but then you'll run into it. I mean, you could take one of these, turn it into one of these. Do that. Although, actually, there is no middle square. 
So I don't think any of them will actually fit in there. I have multiples of them. <laughs> fit in there. Big center one. But if you're walking through here, this is mainly meant to be a path to get around. No, see, with... Well, I guess you could free place it to the ground. Uh, since it is a, a support piece. Could do that. Oh, what if we... Oh, we went down. Right. Is that what you meaning? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Maybe go to the left a little bit. Boop. Boop. Come on, get right in there. Nice and even. There we go. Good call. Good enough for government work. Yeah, got a little even gap on both sides. Sticks up a little bit, but that's okay. Sweet. Live with that. Live with that. Okay, we need some more ceilings. Uh, I don't think I made any yet. We're going to actually need a lot of ceilings. Let's just make a... Uh, I know I need a 13. And then for the inside, I'm going to need 3 times 8. Right? It's 24. And then I'll need more than that. Let's just do that. I think that's safe. It's going to take a lot. Because there's going to be a lot of... Um, Uh, floors in between with uh, made of concrete concrete ceilings because there is no glass flat piece yet that's something else we need to complain to the devs about now we're at the point where we're going to need more silica we haven't run out of concrete yet We got a lot of rebar left. I can tell we're gonna need some more screws though. Why can't it make it? There's steel. Oh, I didn't select a recipe. That would help, right? <laughs> Silly monkey. Let's take these star bellied ceilings. Oops, didn't mean to do that. The Y is right next to the seven. Real cooks don't use recipes. I don't. I'll make it up as I go. Well, not really. I usually have a general idea of how it works. And then I throw dashes of this and dashes of that. Okay. Now, as far as how high this is going to be... Let's let's figure that out because um, I need now I need some slopes. Let's make uh, let's make twelve slopes. Cause I want to be able to walk up to it with stairs. 
don't want to have to um, take a ladder. Ladders are so yesterday. We're gonna need a lot of these. We're gonna need 24 of these, so can we make 20 more? No, we can't. What do we need? We need more iron. Which we have. And we gotta make sure the water stays on. How is our can of biofield doing? It's doing all right. Now, and now we need 15 more. Actually, we're not. We're going to need twice that. We're going to need twice that. Uh, so we're running out of glass. All right, time to make more glass. Which now we need more silica. Do I have more glass anywhere else? New. All right, it's gonna just about time for a silica run. Did we um, make another stone furnace? I don't think we did. Epoxy, concrete, iron. Gotta do some glass cooking down here. So uh, epoxy. We're gonna need more epoxy too. Concrete, iron, what else do we need? Rope. I think I can make rope on myself. Yes, I can. Epic. Come on, rope. Two more. Chubby concrete furnace. Um, but I made it, but I don't have any silica to put in it. <laughs> so we'll get back to that. Hold that thought. And put the epoxy back in here. We'll just leave the rope in here. Yes, they do. I really like that part. He says, good that they have uh, full storms and outposts now. Yeah, I felt cheated when they didn't. I'm glad they do. All right, so let's uh, change this to concrete stairs. I want to go up this way, please. Like that. Wherever we can go up to, I think, is the height we're going to build up to, up to here. I see. Let's um, deploy these ahead of time. It's going to need some support. Hey, 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 hey. That's on a different grid, isn't it? Ew. Let's 
so close. It's so, such a ripoff that that doesn't support it. Um. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, how do I do that? I gotta bring these down. That grid. And then can I snap off of that grid? Maybe if we turn it sideways, come off of that, and then turn it vertical again, come off of that. We have extra pillars then, though. Hmm. It looks kind of funky there. Oh. Uh, maybe we just keep it. Keep it as these ones. Or we could just let the center one go all the way up and support that in the middle. Although it'll probably end up in a funky place. How do we feel about that? Breaks the symmetry. These are all going to go all the way up, by the way. Um, can you take a frame and send it down? Give me some frames, please. I thought I had some. Oh, I put them in here. see what's your garland I know you just barely got here and like to stay longer but as you see I haven't been getting much sleep all right man no worries have a good night thanks for coming and saying hello Let's me do that. Does that support it? Kind of weird. I wouldn't think so. That does support it. <laughs> Even though it doesn't go all the way up. It's just strange. What if I take one away? I still support it. Maybe it just needs something underneath it. Uh, so what if... It's going to mess up our geometric pattern. Take that away. Oh, whoa. It doesn't know it's not supported anymore. Seven days to die physics. <laughs> All right. Uh, nobody sneeze. It's fine. It's all fine. All right, so that's going to be the height that this is all going to happen on. This is where the floating part comes in. Oh, no. <laughs> Your allergies. Don't sneeze. 
Don't sneeze on it. So we need some more pillars. Uh, we need to make some more. We need a lot. More than that. Yeah, I knew we didn't have too much. Rebar uses so much steel. Make this stuff. That's probably not too much, but let's just be conservative, make some at a time. And uh, I'm gonna go sleep. Um, depending on where Chikan is. I've uh, I made a bed up here, so I will go okay. jump in it. What you working on? I'm just doing some mining. Awesome. So I figured you're gonna need quite a lot of iron. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, God. What? What about that? <laughs> Woke up and found I was standing in the fireplace. <laughs> Ouch. All my little stars, I feel like I got a good report card or something. Woke up and realized he wet the bed. I was gonna have the ability to go up from here too, but that's not gonna work out, is it? Let's see if this is going to crisscross. Yeah. Well, do we want it to be from this side? I guess so. It makes the most sense coming from the other place. You kind of want to come over this bridge and go up too. They'd have to go up and like meet at a ceiling. And then keep going up, which would make it a little less tall. Well, it could be... Could be taller. Uh, let's try that, actually. I have to eat again? What? Boom, 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 boom. All right, let me grab those ramps again. Ramps. And then I need uh, two ceilings. And all these pillars. Stairs all the way around the base. Would be cool. Yeah, it would be hard, very hard to align them with this and also uh, it would just take a long time to get up here it would be so indirect you know that sound you can almost have it come up from all the sides and meet at the one Just as edging, when you leave the V fit shapes just across the face of each side. Yeah, I mean, we could try that. 
at some point. I just right now I like having the um, the direct way up. What do I need I need another ceiling. It's so heavy. Those. Put those away. Will that be less heavy? I would. Take half of them? Yeah. Half again? Come on. There we go. And then... The official way up does it come from this side, from the front, from the front, or does it go up this way? Probably should come from the way that there isn't these stairs. So you can come up like three ways and then go the final way up the last way. It meets up nicely with everybody, doesn't it? Yeah, that play is pretty nice. And that. Now we're having that issue. placing those to get them out of my inventory. I know I got storm exposure. I don't care. No me and my food, my towers. I like my verticality. Did I go up too high? No, I didn't. It's all good, except actually those are too high. I think. Yeah. Those are too high. Gimme. All right, we'll get them back when we go up there. All right, so we got to get this supported. Um, we could try supporting that ceiling. Now that we have a flat place to support. touching the ground so I don't know if it's even supporting I'm trying to get one underneath it oh there we go hopefully that's the one that's it nice okay so now we can get all the way up um, and now we got to build the floor which we should be able to do just from the placement of those pillars right so oh, we need these and we can put these back for now let's put them in the concrete mixer let's get these Ooh, let's put some back <laughs> put some back yeah
Boop. Okay, so yeah, we should be able to go like that. And we'll keep the um How are we gonna do the beams? Are we gonna try to get them to go around the circle or are we gonna have them radiate outwards? Radiating outwards is probably safer. I think. And... How's this gonna go? Let's see, let's... That there. And there. Hopefully, we can pick that one up. That should line up with our thing below. Uh, we could probably put a half piece off of this. Do that in a second. Go take a quick climb with you. I can shoot. What's that? I'm just going AFK for a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we should be exactly mimicking our octagon below now. Do I make that go the right way? Boop. Boop. You hope that's the right way. Okay, we'll see some more. We need to go get some more. There we go, we're starting to get our octagon. The beams are going to be a little weird. Not a whole lot we can do about it. Just going to have to live with that. I would like to build it all out of glass, but uh, it is not going to let me do that. Oh, wow. So, a regular concrete floor has 4,000 HP. But if you pump water into the concrete mixer, they have 20,000 HP. Holy crap. Oh, that is so worth it. Okay. I did not know. Oh, let's make all these. We'll need them. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, I still got some of these here. Oh, let me get the... Uh, do I have those concrete half pieces? Or I use them, huh? Let's make uh let's make one. We should just destroy that. <laughs> and make more. Okay, let's see how far those ceilings get us. Uh, we'll still need more. Before we're done, I have rebar in my hot bar. Okay, uh, boom. All right, we can't do that there or there. They up to concrete durability. Well, I mean, they gave you, they did. 
But they also gave you the ability, apparently, to make a reinforced concrete. Which I don't even think they mentioned. Is that correct? That's not correct. Where did I go wrong? This is all good till here. This is just not right. Uh... Oh, I have to go one more over. That's what it is. So we'll have to go look underneath to see if we got any of these off center. Oh yeah, and this little half piece is for here. Oh god. Still not supported. Um anyway, if we put it there we won't be able to get up. Hmm. Cause that's that one's supported now. So we can only go one, two away from it. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Can we put pillars up the sides? Actually, these are going to need to go all the way up. Yeah, they're not done, actually. Uh, let me just take these for now. Use here. Yeah, they're going to need to go three higher. Two higher, three higher. Uh, but let's see if this does anything. If I take these and I put them at the diagonal... Can I? Well, this should be enough anyway to figure it out. That would give support if anything does. All right, that handles it. down come on I've got so many grids to step to I can't handle it Let's see maybe if we put it here Back. There we go. Sweetness. And then uh, we just need to keep going around. Yeah, so this is going to be the main floor of our base. It actually seems like it's about the same height as that one. 
We'll be able to stretch our tin can with a string. Hello! How are you? Alright, let's go see if the bottom, how many of them we've misaligned. Opposite to stairs, or opposite these stairs at least. Yeah, you don't need to be there. Where's the other one? one there. Can we do it from here? Oh, we can. Oh, yeah. Do we want to do that? Or am I stuck? And then one there. And we gotta take that one out. Uh, that's in the middle of this side. Here. Yeah, that's not terrible. We could skip some of the crisscrossing. If we alternated which ones go where. Let's see, like if we did it like this, although I think then we don't get as clean lines to the center. And we also have to figure out where we go from here. I think even though that's messier on top, it'll be cleaner on bottom. Um, so let's build inward a bit. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Can't get there from here. <laughs> I don't know a main accent. They sound like. Let's take these. inward from the center of each of these one two we're going to need to fill in the gaps but I got to figure out how I'm going to do that they don't sound like any of the actors who try it they <laughs> can tell me that <laughs> Let's 
That's kind of cool. Did we fall through these? Get a little bump. A little bump. We could put a little one piece in each of them. How terrible would that be? There is uh, eight little holes. That one's wrong. Oh, and that one's... Oh, that's right. That's wrong. Let's make... Eight little ones. What do we have? Rebar. More rebar. Diamond holes are the new fad? They're the new gap. We're gonna run out of concrete pretty soon, then we're gonna have to go get silica. Eight of these. And we need to cook a bunch more glass. We already used all our glass. Not even done. Done. There. We gotta fix that. Which is... Here? Maybe? One of these? Seems like we were able to place them down here. Yeah. So, boop. And boop. I wish we could get rid of the beams on the bottoms. These um, turn them into these. Which side do they go on? Let's try to be consistent. Put them off this one. Now it won't place off this one. Why you place off this one? Well, that would be this one. And then... This one? No, now I'm confused. That one, that one. This one. Yeah. And. Oh, this doesn't have that one. Crap. Uh, can we get away with that? I have no idea how bad these are going to look down below. Oh, wait. We skipped a pattern. Okay. There's. Dun, dun. And. Would have actually been that one. These guys. I come off that side. Right. How terrible is that? Do I want to know? I can't even tell. Oh, wait. They're. They're in there somewhere. They're those ones. We can live with that. 
this looks like some cross bracing. Okay. Now what? Uh, do we just leave this nice hole in the middle? I don't even know if it'll let us get in any closer. Uh, let's just see if it has structural integrity. It does. Maybe we'll do the four half pieces and have the little hole in the middle again. More rebar. Imperial landing base from up here. <laughs> yes, please sing the Imperial March when you whenever you look at it. Deploy uh, that. I'll just do the four. Even though there's eight. Yeah. The YOLO shortcut does not work. Yeah, we can leave that hole this time. Cool. Um, and then we need to keep the uh, columns going upwards. I think. Yeah, we're gonna need. To, they're gonna need to go three high from there. So that means uh, there's sixteen columns. I think. And so that means we need 48 more, is that right? Yeah. Can we do that? How many can we make? 18. 18 is not 48. I think. Let's make more rebar, in case that's the limiter. We'll make uh, some screws. We'll make some rebar. One full one instead of a half would close that hole. Yeah, but then their lines would conflict. And we'd have a weird pattern. Especially since they're not exactly aligned. That gets us up to 34 and we needed 48. I think, uh, the concrete is what we're running out of now, and that means it is time we can no longer put off the silica run. No, we're on a little back, isn't it? Okay. Just, uh, we've got that concrete. Dun, 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 dun. It's more hmm. steel. In the okay. So let's have a little look at what we've got. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You were AFK when um, I noticed that we now have uh, reinforced concrete. We did do? You, did you know that? No. No, Apparently I didn't. you didn't. Yeah, when you pump water into the concrete mixer, um, you go from 4,000 HP to 20,000. Oh, wow. Oh, holy. Right, okay. That's sweet. Yeah, who knew? 
I guess, okay, so I guess they're prepping us for some more uh, hostile environments uh, where that kind of durability is going to be needed. Maybe, or at least just maybe we could, Bear's going to take 10 swipes now instead of two? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty sweet. I they didn't advertise that at all. Can I hang a pillar in there? <laughs> you really don't like that hole? <laughs> That's my garbage chute. So Silica, um, yes. how would you feel about just cheating very slightly and reloading so that all the nearby ores respawn? I don't feel bad about that at all. It is an outpost, that's what you're kind of supposed yeah. to do. Stop cheating, it's in the game. We need uh, four or five more. Ah. <laughs> Was there a weight difference on the concrete? I don't think so. No, no. Uh, it's the same dynamic as the glass, so no, there wouldn't be. Rebar. Yeah, one frame weighs five kilograms, and from memory, that's what a regular frame mm -hmm. now weighed. They had increased it before, uh, from when it was, um, it used to be a fraction of a kilogram, yeah. which we exploited quite a bit for our temporary bases, uh, but then that was no longer a thing. Your leg went through a dock while you, uh, while uh, you was, while you were diving off when you were young. I have a thing about holes and floors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. That looks really cool and high tech as it is. This thing. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I assume you were going to put walls up around the base, but actually. I don't. I think you should leave. No, the base is the very base on the ground is done, but the um, oh, so you're not close yet. Cool. Well, I think that looks not the bottom, but to see where that ceiling is now, mm -hmm. the uh, glass ceilings are going to angle down from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll probably put a ring of walls hanging down and then angle in from there. And then there'll be a, a like a lower floor hanging down. But the base itself is going to be like it is now. I mean, we might figure out some way to ornament it or something like that. But um, yeah, this is, this is, it's, it's floating, right? So the, the main spheroid is going to be up above. Nice. I'm missing one pillar. Oh, I am. And there it is. Boom. All right. Well, let's uh, take a little break and um, restart. Uh, why don't we sleep real quick first? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost 18 o'clock. Did it go? Nope, not yet. Oh. Oops. There we go. And, uh, yeah, let's, um, restart the server. And I just need to check up on 
where my son is. Uh, he hasn't made it home yet from his crucible. So I'm gonna just check in on him right real quick. So oh, and I'm dying of hunger. I'm just working so hard on this build. All right. I'll be right back. I'm gonna give you guys the uh, be right back screen. And uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes, guys. Leave it like that. I just realized that's not going to do any good because uh, we're going to log off. <laughs> not going to see that. I'll still give you the be right back. Are you out, Gcon? No, you're not. Get out before I kick you. Yeah. Okay, leave Just taking my lantern and the biofuel generator. Good morning, Lai. I didn't see that that was you. How are you? Okay. Uh, return to character select. Yeah, that sounds painful, Gendar. Um, all right, let me take that off until I'm actually doing it. Select. Post. Boop. Yeah, yeah. Steam friends only. Steaming friends only. Those are the friends that are mad at me. Steaming. Human. <laughs> Cube posted a starry, starry night picture that uses the new James Webb image. Mm. Well, how about your steamy yeah. friends? Yeah, that's only them. Only the steamy friends. With benefits. Okay, now I'll be right back, guys. I gotta check on where my son is. Thank you, Nicola. I really appreciate that. Bye, Lai. Okay. I'll be right back, guys.
Okay, I am back. Pour myself a beverage. I'm going to go a little bit longer, not too much longer. There's going to be a lot of silica gathering to do, so we may need to do that between now and the next stream. But uh, I feel good about how we got this far. Um, yeah, I think we'll see how it goes when we put it together, but I think we got it close enough that those imperfections are going to be barely perceptible. Um, and that's what happens, you know, when you freehand, have to freehand parts of a build. It's the price of turning off snapping, which we like that price. Okay, because we like to have freehand snapping. And uh, we're going to have quite a commanding view of this place. Now, when we remove some of these pillars, a lot of trees are going to grow back. Um, but uh, we should be, we're just about at the top of the trees. Not quite. But this this sort of determines how high we can be because I didn't want to have to um, I want it to be real easy to get up here. I didn't want to have to uh, climb a ladder or take too many turns on the stairs. If you come from this side, it's going to be a straight shot up, real fast and easy. I was here. You're going to have to mind yourself so you don't go off the edge. <laughs> I probably, when I have enough uh, silica, we're going to need to put the uh, pillars on the sides of these stairs, too, just to make them match. And to give it all more support. Um, let's, uh, before we go hunting silica, let's just use these 24 glass, reinforced glass pieces that we have. And we'll put them going up. We'll probably also have a set of them, one... Uh, wall worth coming down and then we'll come in uh, it's gonna do what we're doing here we could even maybe skip the walls going down but I want to keep things feeling spacious and then I don't want the basement area to feel too squished <laughs> it is difficult to freehand we used the method that uh, was going to be the most precise, which was um, uh, trying to do the 45 degrees, the octagon. And did I count this totally wrong? I think I did. <laughs> oh, no. I did. I got it right. Okay. Cool. Should I make these all doors so you can just step off? I wish the glass was a little cleaner. Unfortunately. We yeah, could... We get some on that. Yeah. We could do the windowed version. Um, but then... The weather could potentially get in. And there's no openable glass window. So it'd be weird to have a glass wall and then the... A wood shutter in it. Yeah, I use the glass walls using the water to make them stronger, so they won't need an overhang anymore. In fact, we're gonna put a uh, glass roof, uh, inclined grass, glass roof coming in. Here's our little gaps. We're gonna put some pillars in those. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. Um, okay, it's time to go get some silica. After I kill this wolf. Is there anything on my inventory I need to dump? I got two bags of concrete. Probably don't want to go out carrying bags of concrete. <laughs> it's not as bad as real life. Real life, that would be like 120 pounds right there. And then this bridge is to be continued. This was just a placeholder to get us across. We won't leave it just frame blocks like that. that go inward. Okay, uh, let's see. For now, let's um, let's shut this off and go fill this up. Yeah, but see, yeah, we've got the generator going to the pumps. My son just came home, so that you can hear the dogs be very happy. Um, and the pumps are sending water 
to the glass bench and to the three concrete mixers. Even though I'm only using two of the concrete mixers, it's fine. And then over here, uh, we can deactivate that. We're going to cook a bunch of glass in there. Okay, let's go. Let's, uh... Welcome home, son. That there. That can go there. Let's get nice and empty. Dogs get all happy when my son comes home. He's their favorite boy. Boop. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. No, we put that in there, didn't we? The can? Yes, we did. We can actually just grab this can right now. All right, silica. Let's go get it. Nope, not up there. Yeah, this might end up being one of my. Oops. Uh, this might end up being one of my uh, favorite Icarus builds. We'll see. I'm looking at deciding if I want to. Is this attaches going to attach? Nice. Can I show everybody? So my son is, uh, he's a blacksmith now. And uh, here, let's come over here so you can see better. He's a blacksmith now, and he was working on a spearhead. So this is really rough right now, but he's going to sharpen this way thinner to a point he's going to pound that out with his hammer and then this thing is going to become a thing to wrap around the uh shaft of the spear but uh yeah this is what he was working on he was he he gets paid to work and uh, teach and stuff with blacksmithing but this was him just practicing on something that he wants to work on this is just really rough oh yeah show me your axe it's not mine it's the power axe Oh, he's using the power hammer, and he just made this axe. Where he made this uh, this head. It's actually sharp. It's it's mild steel, so it doesn't keep its edge too well when you chop. But it's uh, he made a handle out of natural wood. He took like a branch, made a handle on it, but it's on there real tight. Uh, let's see if I can show you. It's got a nice little wedge right here. He split the wood and stuck a wedge in this is not going anywhere um yeah it's still kind of rough um the finish but uh it's a real nice axe and it feels real good and we can take it we can go a viking <laughs> it's rustic <laughs> this is not rough it's rustic that's right nicola got it so yeah that's what he was off doing pounding that's on metal real life icarus stuff yes Yeah, he's getting those real survival skills. Yeah. Alright, let's find some silica. There's usually some... Which way did you go? Oh, uh, it... North. Alright, I should go a different way. I will go to the left here. Alright. You're getting all kinds of good comments, Niall. exists it's just less there's fewer people to do it um but he's in a whole community of blacksmiths he's getting introduced to uh one at the place that he teaches a lot of blacksmiths a lot of all kinds of artisans actually there's woodworkers and glass blowers and jewelry smiths and uh all manner folks ceramics um you name it they got it and they teach uh young kids 
how, and adults how to do it, but they also have lots of programs for kids uh, to get the skills. Um, and then he's also been working for some of them in their fabrication shops, and uh, he went to a conference actually for a few days with the like uh, with the, like the American Blacksmithing Association, something like that. California Blacksmithing Association. How many people do you think were there? Hundred? There was like three hundred people, three hundred blacksmiths there. So they exist. Farriers are blacksmiths that are still necessary. Farriers? Oh. Well, people need their custom handrails and their right. He said farriers who make horseshoes are the only ones we have to have nowadays, and the rest are artisanal. But I think metal working skills are still important. Blacksmithing, uh, sort of blacksmithing is making quite the comeback. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of YouTube channels doing it. Mm -hmm. Possibly Alex Steele is he's maybe the most popular. Yeah, my son watches all those guys. Yeah. I'm fascinated by the, the, the process for making Damascus steel. And the patterns you can get. Oh, yeah, some beautiful ones, yeah. I watch this one channel where the guy makes Damascus steel, and he'll make it out of all kinds of weird things every time. Yeah, there's one I watched not that long ago. A guy, um, he got, like... Um, whole bunch of like steel pins like you know like sewing pins mm -hmm. um, and made the mask at the end but that that was really tricky because trying to get them to to bond was uh, yeah was really difficult and, yeah usually you have to weld them all together and then smush them pull them yeah Nicola i says, think, it, I think it, Nicola says that she just doesn't see much of that old world stuff until she went overseas. What were you saying, Chica? I was just going to say, I, um, I think it was particularly difficult for this guy using the pens because um, the surface area of the pens and, you know, um, any kind of oxides or dirt or grease or anything. Uh, it would make it that much more difficult because uh, it's such a tiny amount of metal and quite a lot of surface. So yeah, tricky to get to get them to fuse. But yeah, all that all that stuff is um, kind of making a comeback, which is is fantastic because it it is real life skills. Mm -hmm. And you know we don't want those skills to be kind of lost. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's the problem with like uh, centralization of product and automation of production. Yeah, is uh, globalization. I mean, you're always going to need someone who knows how to set those things up, and I it seems like the information is being preser preserved one way or another. But the um, I guess I should get sulfur too because we're going to need boxing. Um, but yeah, it, uh, way fewer people need to know how to do that kind of stuff, but. I mean, human civilization depends on retaining that kind of knowledge. Absolutely. I mean, there was a time that you know, pretty much every village had a blacksmith. Right. Um, you know, something that's, again, it's just been lost with modern technology and infrastructure. Right, so we're putting all this silica into the glass making, yeah? Uh, I will need some more concrete at this point, but at the, at the moment, the uh, big push is for glass. We need to smelt a whole bunch of glass. Because we're going to need to cap the bottom and the top with concrete, but uh, not nearly as much because the, the diameter will be reduced at least by one. Well, two. The radius will be reduced by one. 
towards the center. I wish they had uh, flat glass pieces. I guess they didn't because they wouldn't last before. I don't know. But now that they have reinforced pieces, they need to add it. I should have grabbed the uh, cube's Nevis pickaxe and see if that makes a difference. Let's. Let's pick that up, put it on our hotbar when we um, get back and see how much that helps. Am I going the right way? Yes. You wish they had Windex. Yes! They're a little too smeary. It's like in Minecraft, I used to change my texture for glass <laughs> to make it actually clear. Do they cloud up when the weather is bad? Well, your helmet does. And it's not like a Star Citizen, I was so impressed that you could wipe your helmet with your glove. <laughs> Alt X or something like that. This is looking quite good. I wonder if we can grab a, a picture like this. I'm gonna need one for my next thumbnail. Uh. That's not the one. It gets so washed out, too. We gotta be careful or... Uh we're gonna get a bunch of glass pieces popping out. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. The steel goes in here. I don't know where the charcoal goes. Yeah, they did. I'll put. Uh, yeah, I'll start that as charcoal. Then I got sulfur. Oh wait. Um, yeah, we can do. Poxy right here. Boom, boom. More epoxy making. And then I think we go back out. Oh, I forgot to check. With the Nevis. Grab that. nominate me to do Icarus build tutorials? I kind of do. Although I don't do short ones. <laughs> I do eight hour streams. Alright, we're just going to brave this. So yeah, again we have this pillar to keep all the trees from respawning. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to design little, lay little paths going through it. Um, and then we'll remove the uh, pillars and let the trees come back. Step by step. <laughs> well, especially after I figure it out, right? A lot of times I'm making it up as I go.
is my storm exposure. I'm gonna build up more slowly than the storm. Here comes the big red part. No, I'm just uh, full red with my exposure. But I'm moving. It's gonna pass. You think my spacesuit would protect? Is that pickaxe worth getting? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Um, apparently its main value is um, that it uh, reduces encumbrance. I, I have, uh, this is a titanium pickaxe I made on planet. And for chopping stuff, it's just great. I don't think anything's better than that, but um, you know, if you don't wanna get to the point where you make titanium pickaxes, if you're not going to tier four, um, you know, when you're landing. But uh, the problem with the Nevis is that the durability is so low. But I'm going to wait till we see my... When I get encumbered enough that we're going to see my weight on my HUD here. And then uh, we're going to see if when I equip it, if how much my weight goes down. Because it says it uh, reduces... Well, it reduces the encumbrance penalty. Yeah, so it doesn't so necessarily it, keep you from being encumbered, but you move half as slow, I guess. Yeah. Not quite as painful. Right. And I think you have to equip it. And uh, I also heard that it doesn't matter if it's broken. As long as it's in your hot bar. Now that, I don't know. For sure. Suppose you protects you from attacks? I don't think so. No. It just, it mines really well. It gives you 148% yield. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's a little bit in the titanium. The titanium gives you 140%. 75 mining radius. It has actually less mining radius, but slightly more yield. I like my big mining radius, so. Take huge chunks out of the rock. And it also helps you um, get underneath the, the node you're mining. Like, you see, I always aim, like, near the ground. Because I want that diameter that I'm taking to take anything that's embedded in the mesh. So I don't leave a little hidden chunk down there that I can't get to. And uh, that big radius is really good for that. And I also sometimes get the lucky strike because I am talented like that. We like when that happens. Lots of embedded ores for sure. Yeah, so mining down low with a big mining radius is really good for that. And I don't know if it still works this way, but when I tested before on Outpost, even though ores respawn, they only respawn if they're 100% gone. 
And if you had an embedded piece below that ore that you couldn't get to, that ore would never respond. Okay, so now I'm encumbered, right? And I move this slow. But when I equip this, I move way faster. Look at that. Cool. So that makes being encumbered not that bad. Still running out of stamina. Um, let's do the other test. Let's use it till it breaks and see if uh, it still works for the encumbrance. Because then that takes away the argument that the uh, it sucks because of the durability. Because then you could, even if it's broken, you can still keep it on your hotbar. Much room do I? I don't have any room left. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I've got uh, two hotbar slots. Which I don't think it's going to break in that amount of time. So we can't fully test that yet. Let's we'll see how much more silica we can fit. We do have a bunch of repair kits down here, so we could uh, repair it after we break it. I feel like it takes more stamina. Is there a stamina bonus? Oh, this one's heavy. Well, it's one kilogram. That's a half kilogram. But I feel a difference in swinging them. Like, I could keep swinging... The titanium. And this one, I guess it keeps going. Alright, we're just about full. Let's head back. Oh, the knife, yeah. Okay, actually, we want to do that. Yeah, so that makes the slow walk back way better. It becomes a reasonable jog. Can't sprint, but you can jog. Making sure I'm going the right way. There's our pods. Yeah, so I just built right where it puts the spot once the uh they're gonna do a um well they did an update where wherever you log out you um you re-log back in there and that's cool so now it's easier to uh build somewhere else besides here but people were coming in to help and stuff and i was just making it easy i keep it in here and i figure it's good to have a base in this area and then have some one somewhere else as long as the map stays functional now right now my frames are getting uh kind of scary low it's showing 36 fps which is not good not good at all and i don't know if that's just the building i did i mean they said you could thousands of buildings and it would have an effect but i don't know 
<laughs> uh, it seems to be affecting quicker than that. I think possibly they meant thousands of building pieces. Which I'm not close to thousands of pieces yet, am I? Hundreds? Many hundreds, but not thousands. But yeah, my frames are already dropping. Now I'll have to test after we do this building if I can go to some part, other part of the map and get the frames back. But if I can only build this much and my frames are already hurting, that's that's going to kind of kill my ambitions to do much more building. There's ore on the hotbar. Thank you. Need more tree sap. That's a nice load of epoxy. Let's get some light. Here and Oh, let's turn this back on. That'll make this go faster. And then we're... Smelting up. There's no way to make this go faster, except maybe making another one. Maybe we should do that. What are we limited by? Iron. Oh, look at all this iron. Good work. Pecan. Now we're limited by glass. Maybe we need the electric furnace. They use quite a bit of power though. Right now, out of the 5,000, uh, we're using 2,000. How much does an electric furnace use? Uh, what's that? Two and a half thousand, if memory serves. Oh, so we can't quite do that. I mean, we can make another generator. Uh, concrete, steel, steel ingot. Is it worth it? Are they that much faster? Or should we just make another concrete furnace? Use these up here. I don't think they're that much faster, to be honest. No. No, probably multiple concrete furnaces is the way to go. Right, we'll just use those ones upstairs. Let's grab some of this wood. Let's see if we can start this there. Yeah, just having that in your hotbar helps a lot. Let's give this half of it. And activate. And that half of it. Activate. Still get bears in the outposts? I hope so. I have not oh, yeah. seen I have not seen a bear though. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I got killed one earlier. Okay. It's just there are no bear spawns in this particular area, but um There used to be. Yeah, up 
by there's one in M10. That's at the cave. Blue caves up there. And there's mine for iron, and there's there's a bear there. In the beta, when Crackers and I were first trying out the game, we got attacked by a bear here so many times. On this island. <laughs> I guess they took it off of this island, but... Okay. I think I'm going to have to pull up my MP and it's starting to, to really flag. So. Yeah, man. Thank you for hanging out. So it's 7 a.m. my time now. So. Oh, go to bed. <laughs> I'm not going to go that much longer anyway. I don't want to go too late tonight, but uh, we made some good progress. We're a little yeah. bottlenecked right now while we smelt and stuff, so uh, I want to do a bit more. At least I want to do like one, s one bit of how the roof's going to go. We don't have to finish the whole thing right now, but um, I would like to do some of it. To give you guys the idea where we're going with it. You love crackers when she used to play subsistence. You don't love her anymore now that she doesn't. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> She's got a new job where she doesn't have time to play games as much as she used to. She's very sad about that. She's gonna have more time in December apparently, and that's when I tend to have a lot of time. So hopefully we'll play some games together then. Uh, Nightingale will probably be out at that point. And I think that's going to be one we're all going to love playing together. Some more... We have a... That's me. That's more epoxy. Hmm? Uh, that's me. I, I, I put my character into bed and... So. Okay. I really appreciate the boost, man. Thank you for uh, no your support oh, yeah, in making the outpost. You will always have a bed here and a cupboard full of food. Thank you. And uh, um, you can make a titanium pickaxe whenever you want. <laughs> I hope I catch you next time. Right on. See you later, brother. Right. Thanks, MP. Bye bye. Um, That sounds like a very good idea, Nicola. <laughs> Please do. Well, I'm glad you did. Thank you for all your kind words. What was I going to grab? I had something I wanted. I don't remember. Let's grab this glass. And this glass. Um, oh, tree sap. I need more tree sap. I don't think we... Oh, here's tree sap. Nice. Put that in there. For more concrete. Keeping that going. And we can put some concrete in here. And I know for sure we're going to need more ceilings. I don't know if we're going to need that many. Let's start with uh, 25. And grab a glass we have and see what we can do over here. So we wanted more of these, like that. And then that's the glass running out. Actually, let's clear the queue real quick. And let's make some, um, we need some glass roof corners and some glass roofs. Uh, these are angled ones. So we make three of those. It's all about glass. We got one of these down here. Come on, smelt. Yeah, so I'll just show you guys the idea. I mean, you can see it over on the prototype already, but we'll do it here. 
Um, and then I guess we'll take a break till next time while all this glass and stuff gets smelted up. I'll probably just keep streaming this build until until we have it. That will get us somewhere. Come back and do some more. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go higher. You know, we could do for the view. I can always redo it later. Is we could do uh, glass doors. <laughs> and open it up to see outside. Um, these glass windows don't really work that well. I mean, they don't really count as keeping the, uh, I go back to the inventory. It's keeping the weather out. There's the glass wall, the window frame. If we did the window frame, we'd be able to see out better. But some things get destroyed if you don't have a window in there. So many windows that you can't really see out of. It looks cool, though. You can kind of see out of them. Um, and then the advanced ones... They, uh, they just open to the sides, the kind of window shutters. They wouldn't look very good. The, just the straight wood ones might look better because they open out flat. Hello, welcome back, Lai. Well, it's weird just having wood. I wonder what the aluminum ones look like. Um, are there concrete windows? Let's see. We tier four windows. Um, I think actually all the building ends up down in tier three, doesn't it? We don't actually have any tier four building stuff. Um, there's a glass window, but it doesn't open. I'm not sure if it's any more clear. We can make glass doors and open them and just be careful not to fall out. <laughs> Although, I think when the doors open, they still have weather issues. This week's update is ready now? Really? What does it have for us? There's an aluminum window. Aluminum ore. Wood, steel screws. We need to get some more ore. Do those open up? That might be okay. Um, there isn't a concrete window. We should make one of these and see if it's any uh, more clear. Let's see, we just need some wood for that. We'll take a look at it and see what they got. Uh, just a regular glass window. It's glass. Go figure. Let's craft that. We'll craft one of the heavies too. They haven't given the info yet. Oh. Oh, so this ends up reinforced. So that ends up being heavy. Um, do we have any aluminum ore that we haven't smelted? I don't know that we have, but we can... Uh, we can... Uh, just, can we destroy some of that? Yes. Alright, let's make an aluminum window. I already know what the wood window looks like, but that's just not high-tech enough. Do we make that in here? We do. Do I know it? I might not know it. 
Aluminum window. No, I don't. Okay. Craft one of those. See what it looks like. It's updating now on your PC. We'll go look at the patch notes in a second if they exist. Okay, so testing. Regular window. It's a little clearer. Except it's wood. Can't open it. Uh, that's just too bad. But you can see it a little better. That might be an option. Uh, heavy glass window. Is a little clearer. I guess that would be the one to do. So weird. Um, and then the aluminum window. I think that's what we should do, huh? Then we can have a full clear view outside. It's funny to have to do that with all these other windows. Or, you know, glass. But I think we'll put these all the way around. Have to go mine some more aluminum. Um, but real quick, what I'm going to do here is actually we're going to go one higher. Let's move these down here. see if I can remember what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. We're going to go one higher. Uh, we'll just change this to regular. And let's just use them up. Okay. And then we're gonna, we can come in, I think we just come in with the center one, right? Yeah, uh, I need to go look actually, but I think we're just doing that. And uh, I mean, one definitely goes in the center. And then, then we gotta use a concrete ceiling to get further, because then they go flat from there. Let's just put these in here for now. Put the wood away. Get some concrete ceiling. Oh, do you just, did you just not play for a while, Rod Knob? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is why we needed these pillars here. Because otherwise this would break. And yeah, then those are going to go towards the center. And then, um, I need some walls. We had to put some walls in order to place these other ones. So they can be anything. Uh, let's get some wood. And, yeah, there's going to be two angles we put walls on. That's one angle. That will be for here. And for that, we're going to then take these. Um... there and that goes there and then we need the other one I don't remember which one I just had <laughs> it's not it's that one that goes there and then we got to move the wall 
Uh, which we can pick up now, pretty sure. We want to put it on this other angle. That... Uh, might be hard to get since it's covered by the other one. I want to put it on this guy. Maybe we need to put, get a roof. I have one of these. Boop. Bring that over. Come down. That, there we go. That back, that back. And another one on top of there. And get this. And that goes there. And that was the best I think we were able to shut that off with. And then I need some more of those. Uh, yeah, I think I go like that next. And that one's not too bad. Someone build a base looking like a ship? <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of glass. Give me all that delicious glass. Let's get some more of that. We'll need lots. Let's do that right now. The corner gives you anxiety. You know, if you're not at 90 degrees, um, it's just, it's gotta be that way. It's gotta be that way. No way, no way around it. I did a lot of work trying to figure out how to do it more gracefully. And that's the best I could do, but it does at least um, keep the rain out. Okay, now we need to make the upside down ones. leave. That's what we did. Uh, was it like that? Yeah, I think it was like that. And then we do... I forget if that was the other one. No. This one. And then we do like that. And you might hate it. But that's how you seal up that angle. I couldn't find any way to do it without some overlap. That was the least overlap I can get. And then from the outside, it's not that bad. This actually hole still keeps out the rain. But what I am going to do is take a little one by one and go like that and fill that in. No, someone built a ship looking like a base. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna do that all the way around. Um, from the outside, it doesn't look that bad. Let's see, let's bring this in. Let's put a ladder, go up on the roof. I need to build a ladder. We probably want a nice ladder, huh? Cause we're gonna get up there. What other ladders do we have? What's our tier three ladders look like? Do we have any? Aluminum ladder. I got the stairs, ladder. Aluminum wood steel. Where's my aluminum ladder? Do oh, I need that wood back? Give me that. You just stay in there. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, hopefully they will. They need some triangles, big time. So I'm trying to do circular or, you know, polygonal pieces without any triangles. 
Uh, but she's going to make this, you know, groundbreaking for now, but um, still fairly frustrating. It's going to get me up here. And I also need to make ladders be able to hang. Whoa. Okay, that's coming not to there. Okay. Eventually, we'll make it to there with the half piece. Uh, but we won't be able to get through the middle. Give me that back. Oh, we gotta do the X instead of the Y. Y. It's a fancy ladder. I never made the aluminum ladder before, obviously. Um, does that go to here? I think that's right. A little bit of rope for the grip. How nice is that? Um, but you can see... From the outside, that looks okay. It looks relatively decent. Yeah, it's gonna look like that all the way around. I go down, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna have, you know, that's gonna have to work. And so this will be my main base here. We'll figure out how to fit all my crafting stations and stuff in here. It's a good amount of room, but it will fill up. But also what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to angle down. Now I need to figure out if I'm gonna angle down, if I'm gonna put a wall down or if I'm just gonna angle straight in. Oh, we got a wolfie. Where'd you go, Wolfie? You trying to sneak up on me? I'm sorry, but you're a bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> Welcome to Space Denny's. May I take your order? Yeah, you have to fly through to get your order, though. So, yeah, the question is, if I angle in here first, or if I go down, if I go down, does it become too much of a cylinder and less of a spheroid? Oh, you know what we could do? Might be kind of crazy. Um, make it into like a real flying saucer. Yeah, not if you go in right away. Yeah, it kind of feel like you need to go in right away, huh? So, uh, let's do that first. Where did we finish outside? We did it over here somewhere. So here. Come in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they come in. Oof. What are you doing there? Like that. And then we have to do that whole same thing to seal up in between them. Um, and then we put a concrete roof across and we get like a little basement here where some stuff could go. Um, but I was just having this crazy idea. I think I can break this without killing it, right? What if we did this? Well, then we'd have to seal up there, though. That's going to be an issue. That won't let me come back in right now. Oh, there it was. So 
then how do we seal between them? Could we put a angled wall there? Yeah, it would be more of a diamond, right? Is that cooler? That might be cooler than just the flat wall. Couldn't have any windows in it. Let's see, can we seal that with a uh, I need more glass, more glass. There's so much glass to make glass. It's goofy. Let's just get like uh, four of them. Glass diamond. Yeah, it's kind of a fake diamond. But... Boop, boop, boop. Can we... Can you go in there, please? You need a helper ceiling, maybe? Do we have one? We need a ceiling. Hard to stop playing. <laughs> it is. Uh, let's use a piece of thatch, right? That'll do it. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna finish all this next time. Just smelted enough glass. Uh, but uh, come on. If I break this, will you all break? Go. Take you out. Come back to me. And then... Put you back. Need to close. Yep. And then we're going to use this just as a helper piece to... Place that. Oh, yeah. And that? Wrong one. That. Yeah. So we could seal that up, no problem. And then we do the same thing over here. What do you guys think? Let's do a vote of flat walls on the outside. Or did we do the angle out thing? What do you like better? Let's get up here and take a look. I think the angle out thing might be uh, more stunning. It alternate. Could also alternate. And then it would be like pokey. Or what's up, man? Or likes the slope ones. I think I do too. Yeah, that's just way cooler. It will have like these little cuts in between it. But that just makes it way more space needle, yeah. And it'll be symmetrical. It'll go two out and two in. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. I mean, unless we came out even further, went flat here and then in. I don't know if that's necessary. And that would kind of kill the uh, this angle right here. It's that sharp edge that looks kind of cool.
So far, everybody seems to like the angle one. Howie. And then from inside, that's kind of cool. Try to look out like that. <laughs> It'll give you a better view down below you. If the glass was better. Need a mod. Icarus clear glass mod. I'd be okay putting that on. Can you angle the triangle pieces? These pieces? Like angle them out? Um... Yeah, I can walk on it. Like this. If I went out one further into the flat wall, it would just be more concrete coming out further. Which would give me a bigger diameter, but then I feel like it just becomes a little too big. Like, flat? No, there's no flat glass piece. Unfortunately. At the moment. There's no horizontal glass pieces. If you go horizontal, you gotta use a different material. Yeah. Um, there might be some way to use these kind of angle pieces to buckle out here, but it just make it way more complicated. And uh, they still won't match up right. So how will that work during the next section? Um, we can do that. Uh, the next section would go like uh, this. Well, this one would come out too, but um, it would go this. Let's just take all these off. <laughs> that makes me cringe. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, and right here, actually, we can't do that. We're we got to do um, we got to do that right here. But then uh, this part, this is easy. Uh, that back. And then we just need these other two. And where do they go? We need that one to hang here. Come on, you can find it. Maybe we need to do the top one first. It's uh, not that one, but that one. Okay, that goes there. And then this one. That goes there. So that's sealed nice and tight. All right, Or, I will see you later. And this would go all the way up here. Thanks for dropping in, man. And yeah, so this goes here and here and here. That folds a little messy, but I'm looking from the outside. But then this is how that goes together. Right there. We can put some of this on right now. Um, boop. Just like that. And then. That goes like that. Just like that.
You like it? Ooh. You can walk all the way out to here. Ooh, yeah, it's a flying saucer. Now it's not a Denny's anymore, Gendar. <laughs> we undentified it. Couldn't you make the top one go in like you do in the bottom? Uh, what do you mean? The top one is going in. I think. And then they'll just meet at the edges like that. They'll get that little valley on each of them. And then they'll have the same valley underneath right there. Same as same as this. Where the walls meet. Here. This gap. Uh, if we try to bridge this gap, we could do it like this, but we'd get that nasty little flap folding in like that. If we wanted to have it come out, there would there would be overlap between the pieces. This to me just feels clean. Can I do this in the gap over it? No. Uh, oh, you mean that same kind of... Um, well, let me see, actually. I think, I've, I think I understand what you mean now. Uh, oops. Maybe. That's my answer. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not the same thing. You have to do it over here. Yeah. Because this is not the same thing. So they have to be... They can only join to these angled... These square angle roofs. So I could go there... And put the little... The, uh, the little triangle roof piece in here. And then... Um, and then here... And put the tri little triangle roof piece in there. But then I'd have all this space in between them. It would face outward. Flip 180. I'm one too far down. It's so hard to describe this stuff uh, in text, isn't it? Trying to figure out what you guys mean. So you want me to... This won't... Won't go out there. You want me to flip it out that way? I can't do that. If you make the middle of the triangles be on the level of the roof, make the middle, no, still inward. Make the 
middle of the triangles be on the level of the roof. Still trying to figure out what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, you're confusing yourself now. Yeah, I have to get you guys on here and show me what you mean. Lai and Cube, you would both be able to come on and show you me what you mean, but I'm uh I'm gonna need to log out right now. Don't think you can. Um but uh if you guys want to come on between streams and show me what you're thinking about, I would be happy for that. It's hard to comprehend all these angles and things, for sure. Um, scene. This is not concrete, but if I can angle these. If you try to come down with... I don't think this is what you're saying, but... Um, those won't go there because these are in the way now. But if you try to, um, angle these in there, I think they have a really nasty overlap. Uh, that's not too bad. Then they're smooth on the uh, on the inside. That might be nicer than that one. It won't because there is a flat edge on the bottom. He's joining two forty fives. Yeah, here I joined two forty fives. Um. And that works fine because uh, I'm still on the same grid as those. On this one, like I said, the 45 will only fit on this edge. <laughs> it's built the way as, all, as it was all part of the design. But now that I've done this, I'm feeling like I might actually like this. A little better than this? I'm not sure. Which one do you like? If this was concrete. This is, call this A. Call this B. I know this is not what you guys are talking about. Yeah, this is not terrible. I actually think that looks better than this. Honestly. You like B? Yeah, I think I do too. Um, if you wanted to, you could have it come to a point if everything was on the same grid. Like if you're doing a pyramid, that would be easy. The problem is since I'm at 45s to each other, um, I'm going to get overlap every time I come close. So it's a matter of how you want to deal with that overlap, right? These don't overlap because they're apart from each other and I can just seal the insides like you would on that same grid then once you get up here they're intersecting they're not intersecting in the middle pieces but they these come together <laughs> a big inner flaps B tiny outer flaps yeah this almost looks like it's intended protection right it adds extra protection on the outside. Whereas this, this valley is okay. Um, the other downside of this is it leaves a tiny little hole. Right? This has no, no tiny little hole. This one looks a little cleaner on the outside. This doesn't look too bad. It's actually way less glass. This one takes, um, one, two, three, four, five, six 
pieces of glass. This takes this takes uh, two. And these probably cost twice as much as these, but using two of these and six of these, I'm a, I bet you this uses about 50% more glass. Definitely be. All right. Well, we know what we're doing. All right, guys. Well, that was a really good start on this one. Let's go sleep tonight, and then we'll sign out. Break my... Sprain my ankle. Just because. Um... And I'm going to get all the parts, well, at least get all the glass smelted up. Uh, get the parts made. Because uh, we'd still need to do a couple more silica runs at this point. Now that I know what we're doing, I can count up how many parts I need. Oh boy, we're about to have a storm. Icarus wants to see me out with lightning. Big metal structure up in the air. I don't know. Might not be a good idea in a lightning storm, huh? <laughs> Everybody's going for B. Cool. So much for my Denny's franchise. Now it's, well, now it's the extraterrestrial Denny's. You got to fly up in your flying car, your spaceship. I have to, although now that we don't have a flat wall, it's going to be very hard to have a window for service. <laughs> My thatch is going to break. Yowza! <laughs> it's Zenny's! <laughs> uh -huh. Alright. Wow, that really did the number on that, didn't it? Well, let's get back into our photo mode. Come out here. We need to come down a little bit and get one more look at our monstrosity. Is this a good idea? <laughs> Who knows? Probably not. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then that will do the same thing down there. And yeah, it'll all be floating on the structure right here. The wonders of reinforced glass. Well, all right, folks. Um, that's it for today. Very good progress on our floating octosphere. I don't know if it's sphere anymore. You're gonna get the thumbnail of you being hit by lightning. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I am, uh, once the weather clears up, I'm definitely going to take a thumbnail. I'm going to need it for my, uh, next episode. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out while we work on this. Um, yeah. You're welcome, Rod Nob. Yeah, I appreciate y'all keeping me company while we try to push the limits of building in, um... In, in Icarus. Over shore. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, thanks for joining, Nicola. Thank you, everybody. All my usuals and all the new folks. I definitely appreciate you coming by. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll work on this some more on Saturday. The debris is from the thatch pieces I put as placeholders. So, that's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> With this, we're going to build with the concrete and the reinforced glass, but it sure is nice to be able to have exposed glass at this point and to be able to bend the rules a little bit with the free placement. It's just a matter of figuring out how everything fits together now. Um, but yeah, peace out. I will see you all. Thank you for watching to the end of this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm-mm-mm.